But you already know, man. Y'all might not like this podcast episode 006. Yeah. Moving on up. <laughs> the numbers is looking good on uh Apple Spot, um, Apple Podcasts. Oh yeah. That's I think that's the the the, the key to podcast. Yeah, it is. Ta-da. Because you know, when we was just on Spotify, we weren't really getting that much love. But a lot of people got fucking iPhones. Yeah, Apple Podcast. I'll be telling I didn't you, even bro. Know. You know, I'm uh, so out of the You're loop never gonna shit. get I, me I on really iPhone. On there. Bro. I was telling people to just look us up on everything. So now I can really tell them that? Yes. I'm sorry, I feel like I'll be out of the loop a lot with this shit. It's all I'll good. be trying to stay in there. I'm sorry. It's, it's all, at least I can you try. try real good. You get a you get an E for effort. Okay. E is really good. E, no, can e be, comes at the D and D's are bad, but I, I take Yeah, it. and then you know no, but like E is like the highest one. No, yeah. it's not A's the highest. Elementary, school. elementary school. E is excellent. We're grown ass men. Can we keep going? Yo, no, we're not. I mean, don't you got a whole kid in one of them grades? Like, right. In one you? of them grades. No. Hmm. No, no, no. So you, no, def- you no. definitely should want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you actually don't have a kid in one of them I don't grades, have though. It's middle school now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's Paige in like the seventh grade now, maybe. Yeah, she is. She won't say seven. Damn. Crazy. So is Amaya. What the, what the hell? Hey, I be looking like, what? I've been a dad for like years. got a kid years. that's close to high school? Whoa, you got a yeah. wild. Stop fucking wilding out. I said seventh grade, <laughs> I mean, it's close to high school. Eighth, ninth, she has a full no, seven no, embrace and a full eight. Embrace nah, she's close it, to high school, bro. It, yo. Full seventh, nigga. And she's close to full high school, eight, bro. That's nigga. scary. That's two it's years, hot baby topic. boy. She's about to be 12, right? What's the hot topic for the day? Yo. <laughs> Ain't she about to be 12? Yes. So you would be just like me. Two guns. You was just like, I had to take my goddaughter to go buy some shoes this week, and niggas was looking at me crazy in the mall. Like, what are you doing? I yo, I ain't gonna lie to you since let's talk about that. I ain't, I don't think I, like, I ain't, like, Guns type shit. Like, we don't need that. No, I think you do. Wow. You don't have to go. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 I, wait, wait. Let me, let me retract that. I, I didn't I, mean I, that. I've owned a gun my whole life. I don't yeah, talk yeah. about it. No, no. I mean that. We do need guns. But I'm saying far you as. You need to protect your daughter? Yes. But I'm saying. No, for, protection, period. Yeah. And daughters is in it. But what I'm saying is. Um, I mean, I'm saying I don't need it specifically for my daughter because somebody's going to try her. That's how I feel like. When we was coming up, he's like, man, ain't nobody going to touch my daughter. Now it's like. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's what I was saying. I think, you know, we ain't nobody shooting nobody when you knock the door no more. Right? Yeah, like, I think now it's like, it's, it's more like understood. Martin and, uh, and, and Will Smith and Bad Boys. All right. What's what you your name for, nigga? He said, what's your name? <laughs> Reggie. How old you, Reggie? what do he say? 21 uh, or something? He said, like, 16, 17. Yeah. Well, motherfucker, you look 30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got energy for that. All I'm saying is, I think, um, you know, just having an experience, um, having a, a daughter or whatever, like, I think, you know you gotta embrace them, even when they come mm-hmm. to you talking talking to you about boys. It's like okay, I try, yeah, you try. I try to leave the open open door. You know what I'm saying? Like she just, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but you know she's on TikTok crazy. She had a lot of followers, dancing and kids and stuff. So you know she's real mature. You know what I mean? She I always checking in on her as a father. I ain't never had no size, so I let her get the Instagram. I got the, the uh, information for it. But it was an odd thought. I was thinking like, damn, should I do it? Like she might be 12, but it's like a friend's got it, and it's like. You can't hide nothing from these kids, man. TikTok yeah. got a whole bunch on there. I be watching, watching like, damn, I don't know if I want her to hear that. But she gonna hear it regardless. She gonna hear it regardless. So I just, I give her, her her options and let her make, you know what I mean? You know, her Yo, own mistakes. Amaya came to me. But not too many. Amaya came to me asking me, uh, can she have uh, boys in her phone? Cause she like could never have boys in her phone. Oh, I'm like boy num- phone numbers? Yeah, and I'm like. See, what? I don't know when that switches over. And I'm, I'm not like, really a fan of that. Right, so not, but. I, I'm like, just it's dope that she's even coming to me about it, right? And I'm like, I mean, as long as you come to me first, right? And um, I'm just Are like, you gonna interview the guy? Nah, it's a little ass boy. Home? I ain't about to interview him. Text, they just texting? Yeah. And I just, I just got, I got, man. Yeah, it's I like, not I take a privacy, but shit. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, for me, it's just like, do you know there's a difference? Like, if you show your present, it makes a difference in how to do, you know what I'm saying, deals with the young lady. Now, some dudes is ballsy, period. But for the most part, if you would have just, you ain't got to threaten them. But if you make your presence felt in that type of scenario, they have a tendency to kind of. I mean, I feel, I feel like, like a little, a little, little nigga going to do what a little nigga want to do regardless. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is I'm showing my presence. My presence is known. I don't have to show my presence for it to be known. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the way she speaks, the way, the, the way I show my presence in her life is going to outwardly show and the way she approached people and the way they approach her. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. never really dealt with this before, so I really don't know. But I'm just saying, like, in my expert or my thought, I'm thinking, like, as long as I'm showing my presence in her life, it's going to show in, in the way she interacts with other people. Mm. So you, you're not comfortable being visual around in certain situations. Like, say, for instance, you know, God forbid it, done, it, it gives us a long way off. It. But that first date comes. You ain't dropping them off on a date. You ain't. No, nah, I mean, first date, you feel me? Like, nah, I'm going to ask her what she want. Like, now, 
probably she probably have her own car by then. You get what I'm saying? Uh, uh Oh man, you 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 the best, yo. Look I'm at not you. the best. Like no, you got, DJ no. Khaled, we no, not the no, best. No, I'm just trying to be. Get her the car, give her the keys and gas money. And be like, go ahead, girl, have a good time. Get out there. And, you know what I mean? Go out I there mean, my date. daughter gonna get a car at 16. I feel yeah, like, like I just feel like by the time she get her first date, she probably have her own car. I know. Uh, I mean, you y'all are one. You gotta go through 16 years. I feel like to understand that you know what I don't want to drive your ass nowhere. He no we more. went it. He went through it like four times. So. Stop. Sorry, it actually would be three, but actually would, yeah, <laughs> that three stuff. I, I say got, four for the fuck of it. Yeah, but, um, I got one goddaughter that I, that How old is she? I helped raise. She's eighteen now. She just finished her first year of college. Oh, right, yeah, she definitely. You know what I'm saying? Now. It's been different because the transition of when she was like really young, like you know, five and six versus now she sixteen, seventeen, and wanting to have those conversations. That it was. It was definitely a tightrope because I don't want to be so aggressive and being like, yo, I'm a killer, whoever it is. So then she will hide everything from me. But I don't want her to be so loosey goosey with the conversations that we talking. She talking the, crazy. 18 is, a, 18 is a scary age. But even, but <laughs> I feel like all the ages are scary. Like, honestly, like you feel me? Like, no matter what, she's going to do what she want to do. And if you are, if you want to be stern or force it away from her, she, all she's going to do is just hide it from you. So it's mm -hmm. like okay, cool. It's just like it's like with with um, Catholic, marijuana, Catholic, with alcohol, uh, all of that. I was gonna say uh, kids in Catholic schools. Yeah, like I just feel like it's all. Man, it's like if, you could you yeah. can try to be stern all you want, but if she going if she's curious Ooh. and she want to do something, she's gonna do it regardless. So it's like right. let's let's have this open communication where we speak about it. And if you want to try something, come to me first. Let's have a conversation, and maybe I can I can. Not even convince you. Maybe I can um, show you why it's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. And if you decide to do it, then honestly. You got to go through, you got to suffer the consequences on yourself. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hopefully, uh, and that's just at an age until they're 18. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the age after 18, right? But like, but until they're 18, you're telling them no because you're a child, right? Like, you aren't able to make these decisions. I, I, I agree to a certain extent. Um, but what I will say is that I've tried to develop more of a, instead of me trying to be an authority figure, me be more of like, all right, let me, let's talk about it and let me show you the options. Look, you can do this if you want, but out of this raises this option. These that are the option, consequences that you got to go right, through. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And hey, I would personally would not want you to do that, but yo, make the decision that you feel is those best for your life. And like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I always draw realistic parallels. Like, look, this is what happened to me. This is what happened to your father. This is what happened to your mother. These are the results of the decisions that they made. Now, do you want to make the same decision or do you want to do something different? And then that, that, to me, has had way more of an effect than anything else. It's just that once they hit 18, the conversations can get real deep real quick where there's been a few times where I didn't, a question was asked or a statement was made where I'm like, I have no clue what to say. And that's what I think. I think, at, I think it's vice versa, right? I think before you turn 18, it's really like, okay, it's not do what I say because I said so, but because I'm an adult, I live the life and I know what's best for you, right? right? But once you turn, let's even say 17, right? Once you turn 17, 18, you're, you're able to make decisions on your own. Then it will become, you know what? I don't think you should do this because this is what I learned from it. But if you want to do that, you got to suffer the consequences that, that comes with it if mm -hmm. you, you run into this. I think, you know, before, before 18 or before the, the age that they can really make decisions for themselves is more of a, um, I don't want to say, or, authoritative but it's, it's more just like you know like I'm, I'm making a decision for you because i because i at this moment i have the mindset to make the best decision for you right. i guess if that makes and sense and I, of course i'm explain it to him <laughs> right right yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah. legally responsible for you anything that happens to you is on me so what about you stars yeah you, i mean no y'all going off you the one i got the, i got the whole going i'm just like listen y'all like, okay these got it all lined up but um no i feel like i feel like um you know it's just, it's, it's it's a fine line it's a very sensitive time you know, between the ages of like, you know, 11 and like 16, I'm gonna say, it's cause she's changing, she's developing, she's finding out things, she's being interested in things. And my daughter started wearing, you know, crop tops with the high waist jeans. You know, that's a little thing with a bell bottom vibe. You feel, she like dunks. You know what I mean? That's her look. I mean, it's not, it still looks like a child. You know what I mean? So I'm cool with it. But it's, I mean, it's like the old school with. look? Yeah, yeah. I'm out doing that shit too. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's a, a style now. It's cool, it's a 12 year old to me, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> but uh, what's not a 12 year old though? Uh. Uh, a lot you know what the girls look like when they go in the club when you hosting? That. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the bottle girl is? <laughs> yeah, that. You think so? Like it's like tight jeans. 
Like I don't want I don't want I don't want my daughter in like no biker shorts with no like like sports bra vibe. You know what I'm saying? How the girls be doing with the slouch shots and like some fucking Nikes on and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like not so much skin. Like yeah. regardless, not so much skin. And we layers. Can't, you know what I mean? Not the layers, because it's summertime, you know what I'm saying? But you know, make sure them shorts is, you know, not short short. You know what I'm saying? What's too short though? I don't know how to just detail it. You know when it's too short. Ass crack I'm, rim. I'm, okay. You okay. want to be below ass crack rim. Because I was, I, I asked that because I feel like certain people are like, look at it differently. Like, um, you know, certain people believe in like, you know, something is too grown. And then other people believe that there's no such thing as too grown because a child is a child and what their style is. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out where I you feel, at with it. I'm at, she's going, as long as she always, I mean, I feel like she's very smart in understanding what she needs to look like too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, they look at all this other stuff online, but they understand what a quote unquote grown up can wear compared to what they should be able to wear. And it's parents, some parents, it's parents that don't care. But you know, I was raised differently. And we can't judge anybody on, on these things because, yes, ultimately, you know a child and everybody knows a child. But you know what I mean? Unfortunately, we're just in a world where some individuals don't really go as far to find out if your children or not. But I feel like that that's on us, though, right? Like, I feel like, you know, we can't, because we're in, I feel like we make the world, right? And then we come back and say, we in the world. So it's like, we'll create the world and be like, then we're in the world that is like, if all we got to do is change the world person by person, right? Like individual by individual, that's how you change uh, 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 the world. I so think. if that's the case, if, so so to learn something, you must go through something, correct? Yeah. So do you, do you want Amaya to be an example of how the world should change? I don't think um, I want Amaya yeah. to be an example, but again, I'm gonna be there to protect her from, from it, right? So let's say- you can't though. I know, I mean, but that's regardless if she wear uh, short shorts or if she'd wear a long skirt. So I'm just saying like for me, as long as it's appropriate for me and I think it's appropriate for the occasion, like, and again, of course, we're not, let's not be too exaggerated. We ain't too much shorts showing your ass, right? I'm just saying yeah. like, let's say it's just, it might be jeans that, cause some people might think, oh, this is, this is too grown for a girl that's 12, right? Some people may not. And I'm saying, I feel like as long as it's appropriate to me and Sade, of course, and you know, is appropriate to the occasion, then I'm gonna let it go. If somebody else think it's too grown, that's on them. All I'm here to do is just make sure she's comfortable and what she's wearing, how she's wearing it, and then nobody else disrespect her along the way. And I want to let her know that nobody else should disrespect you. And I feel like, I know my example is probably crazy, but I feel like it's something similar to like, you know, what they said we couldn't do back in the day, doing like, I don't know, segregation, even to now, is a certain way we're supposed to uh, react to police. And although that may be true, it still doesn't make it right, if that makes sense. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So like, yeah, you could say it's a way a child supposed to dress, but it's still a way a child is, is a way you shouldn't even look at a child, if that makes sense, right? So like, I get what you say. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just no, no, it goes, it goes back to the, to the idea of, <clears throat> like I said, we genuinely, we all watching social media, we're all, we're watching the bro be terrible. And yes, it is on us to make sure we change how they, but at the end of the day, we can't protect evil. Mm -hmm. Some people are just evil. Mm -hmm. Some men are just disgusting. You know right. what I'm saying? So, unfortunately, it is better and safer. We, in two different ways I look at it. Safer because, you know what I mean, if your child dresses like a child, she will never be proposed like a grown-up. You know what I'm saying? That's not even true right there, though. That's the not even true. Because, because, because you I have know, niggas that's sick, like you said. I mean, of course. But that goes into the line of when we talked about, like... Dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like... I mean... I mean, if you sell a house, I mean, you're going to ask for a car. But I'm saying, but listen, it's disgusting regardless. Right. But it's just little things they can regard. And what if this, what if this is a thing? What if you, she does dress like this and, the, and she does like that? Thing? You feel me? It's like you're introducing her to something. And you, like you said, we got all these different children and, and little girls that go through different things as children. Don't have fathers. Mom don't really show no love. They looking for love. A nigga want, hey man, what's going on? Oh man, yeah, oh, I can't. You know, that's how we get in these situations with these niggas, these young women and try to mold them because... They genuinely just showing them attention. Yeah. So it's just, it's just, it's a large scale. It's a it dangerous a large, scale. It's a and, dangerous scale. And, and, I just feel like, for just, me, I want, you know, just to be honest, this is my first time doing this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, you got two beautiful baby girls. Yes, you know? yes, sir. And I feel like for me, you know, like, again, I stepped in, it's definitely different. Like I stepped in when Amaya was eight, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it looks different. But again, if I had to choose the way to be a pops or a parent in general, I would want to choose the, the way to make them most comfortable, to make her most comfortable and not have to, you know, let's say if I say I'm strict on the way she dress or again, we're not talking about over exaggerating of uh, uh, shorts that show your ass or a shirt that got boobs. I'm just saying like something that may be normal to some and not to, to others. Right. right. That's, that's all I'm so saying. Preference. Right. So I'm saying I would want her to be comfortable to come to me to have the conversation instead of like, I don't know, wearing some shit out the house and changing when she's at a friend house. You get what I'm saying? I want, I want it to be 
are comfortable enough so we the open line of communication could be there and if it's okay or if this is our preference it's like okay cool this is the thing that we're going to put in place and if you wear this you might get these looks right and if she like it it's like yo you, you got to understand what comes from this you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying how you can be perceived how and, 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 and does that matter but what does that look like Right? Are you ready for that? I feel like it's the best thing for you or me or whoever is involved with a young lady who's growing in, in these times is just to automatically and always let them know that you're on their side mm -hmm. and that it's an open book. And even if though you hear things that you don't want to hear sometimes, you got to find a way to, you know, consume it, mm -hmm. deliver the message, and keep the respect and loyalty there. Because once they don't feel like they can trust you or feel like they can say something without you feeling a certain way, you won't know nothing. That's a mm -hmm. fact. You know what I mean? And I don't like not knowing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> No, and I was going to say, to kind of piggyback over what you said, always leave the conversation open, meaning that always leave the opportunity to continue a conversation from another mm -hmm. time. You know what I mean? So like, and one thing I always tell my goddaughter is like, nothing's concrete in the world. Everything mm. is always evolving and changing. So like, yo, my opinion today is not going to be the same as 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. So like, you know what I mean? The only thing you can do is try to do the the best that you can with what you information you have, you know what I mean, and make sure that whatever you stand on, stand on it from a from a from a like I believe this in my soul, because later on you'll never be mad at yourself from standing on something that you really believe in from your gut, so mm. your style, your mm -hmm. your style of dress, how you talk to people, approach people, just make sure that's what you want, how you want to be represented, because at the end of the day you're the one that's got to deal with your representation. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, it, yeah, it, it affects me, but it more affects you, man. See? But you know it's crazy though, bro, like because you said like. Um, I think the biggest thing in that is just uh, learning to love yourself mm -hmm. as who you are and right. as who you're going to be. Because like you said, the only thing constant in this world is change, right? Change that's is the only thing that's constant. So if you know that, if you know that about yourself, if you know that about the world, then when you start to change and as long as you love yourself, you're going to continue to love you at the different places you are, right? Mm -hmm. So like if you were, let's say you were um, this person in this season, but the next season you're somebody else and somebody mm -hmm. might be talking about the old you mm -hmm. because you love yourself. It's like, yo, you know what? I'm okay with that because I was that person then and I'm okay with the growth and where I'm at now, right. right? And even more clear, the person I was is based on what I wanted to be, mm. not what somebody influenced me to be or somebody told me to be. So if somebody got something to say about it, it's like, so what? This is who I am. You know what I mean? And when I change, I change for me. I don't change for somebody else. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's a big thing because sometimes when you make changes because you see your homie making changes or whatever. And it's not necessarily in your gut what you feel, but you think it's for the moment to get you to the next stage or it'll open up a door for you. And then it don't. And then people laugh at you over that. That's when you become the most sensitive and defensive. You know what I mean? Where you always like, no, nah, you go, no, no, no. It's like, nah, bro, that's not who you genuinely was. So always base your evolution from you, from like where you want to be, how you want to be perceived, what you want from 100% you. So that no matter what the evolution is, you're comfortable mm -hmm. versus from the outside in. You know what I mean? And right. as um, adults, I think that's that's one of our main goals is being parents, right? And mm -hmm. like just leading our children and leading the the, the youth and the generation. I, I, and I wanted to bring up the uh, Shikari Richardson um, situation that's going on right now. Uh, as you guys know, you guys familiar, right? Uh, She's like the fastest chick in the world now. Yeah, yeah. so she's- She's she, fine too. Yeah, yeah. She's definitely very she's, attractive. She's 21. Um, she's not she's attractive at all. Nah, She's nah. like a baby. <laughs> She's still fine. 20, 21's fine to me. Okay, I She's guess. Grown up. Okay to say she fine. Uh, yeah, I mean. Moving right along. Right, I'm just, so. <laughs> I'm not just saying, like, you know, I know you old, yo, she's but damn, yo. No, no, no. Like, she's, she's pretty. She's definitely attractive It's okay to say she's fine if she's 21, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, she's an attractive young lady. Um, you just saying that because she could be your daughter. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. So, you know. So, um, right <laughs> anyway. So Shakari Richardson, uh, she's she got suspended for them finding marijuana in her urine, right? Mm -hmm. Um, she had a, a DNA test or urine test, and they found marijuana in, in it, uh, or the strain that whatever's in marijuana, right? I right. don't want to get it correct because it might not have been whatever. THC. Yeah, yeah. So um, what happens is she got suspended for thirty days. Now because she got suspended for thirty days, the the thirtieth day or the suspension is. When she runs the her, her open hundred meter um, run, is within that thirty days, mm -hmm. right? So, so so now she can't run her one hundred meter dash, which is the race that she recently just won, broke the records for. Gotcha. Um, the internet is going crazy about this. Um, I see a lot of people supporting her, but I also see a lot of people saying that you know, like you knew what the rules were, like you're not mm -hmm. supposed to smoke weed 
um, you decided to do it, but she lost her mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, and mm -hmm. that is that definitely a, a huge thing. And I definitely want to, mm -hmm. um, you know, be empathetic to that. But I wanted to ask y'all, y'all, y'all been seeing what's going on, right? Or, oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, I was going to wait for you to finish. Yeah. How y'all feel about it? Um, number one, my condolences to her and her family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, please take whatever time necessary for your mental health, for your for your personal health. And you know what I'm saying? I hope you. Can take the take these L's and turn them into wins as I know you can, you know what I mean. Uh, however, if the rules say don't smoke, I mean don't smoke. Like mm -hmm. you know what I mean. This is a multi-billion-dollar, you know, franchise or whatever. It's been around since before all of us was born, and like it's, and like that's just what the rules is. Like so, you got you got slapped on the wrist. I can understand people being like, oh, this and that and the third, but. It's an international thing. It ain't just some. American. Yeah, it's not just America. Like, yeah, it's like people like it's USA. In the world. Like, no, it's, 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 it's I think it's like the correct term is like water. Like it's world. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like the whole like, entire world participates. Exactly. In it. Even countries that are beefing with each other, Russia, like North Korea, South Korea, everybody's involved in it. You know, this is I, this is the world's way of competing with each other without destroying with each other. So they have to be stringent about the rules. You know, what I mean, I'm not trying to over talk it. I mean, do they? Go ahead. I mean, do they? I feel like if she wasn't black or didn't get all this attention. Oh my God. And that's the, Is that what we doing? We talk, we talk, and that's what saying. a lot of people been saying. Thing, but no, no, no. The reason thing? I say it uh -huh. is because Michael Phelps went through the same thing. He still got to play. And no, bro. Like I, like, I feel like a lot of people are trying to drag the situation. First of all, he Michael got Phelps. Season, it wasn't. But no. Than, but even that, he still he, got he still suspended. Got a drug test. But no, he still got suspended yeah. for like three months or three or four months. So like, so I don't understand. I don't think people understand what happened. Like Michael Phelps lost way more than this young lady lost. Like she lost, she lost really nothing. Like she's not being able to run in a race only because it falls in 30 days. 30 days is the minimum suspension that you can get. It's 30 days to, to like a year or something. So like the fact that she got suspended for 30 days, one shows that like they're being lean on her. Two, it, Nike still uh, released a statement saying we're not dropping her. Michael Phelps lost mad endorsements. He got suspended for like three or four months. We can look it up. Like, but it's like, so I, I mean, can't... I believe you sound like you know what you're talking about. That's fine. But <laughs> if this situation happened with Michael like Phelps, you know I just feel like, you know, energy would be different. I feel like there was anything. I feel like it was a lot of attention. I feel like it's, it's a lot to have a face of America be a, a young black woman with blonde hair and long nails. I don't care what y'all fucking say. They don't want that. I agree. I mean, I mean well, that's a she, fact, though. she came to prominence recently. So it's not like she been popping for years and. So like, for and, her to get that's not fair. That's not fair to say because yeah. okay. we're not track experts. So like, you feel me? She's been like, she's been with yeah, Nike since. Track? I did, but like, so how I don't. You know about her? I don't, again, I just found out. But again, less. She's been signed to Nike since she was nineteen. So that means something. How old is she now? Twenty one. So that yeah, means one, something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I mean, I, I just don't want to say like she just came out. Again, I didn't. I didn't know it because that's not my sport. You uh, feel uh, me? Right, I said she just became a media darling within okay. the last six months to a year. You know what I mean? Maybe Stop because her. the Olympics is coming Maybe up. Maybe because the Olympics is coming up. So no, like, she, with that no, being that, said, that hundred, that hundred, that hundred meter went crazy because you know he got on film. You know she is a you know, one of us. She's definitely yeah. one of us. And Almost she's one, and, and, but she's like one of us though, and I mean that by like dark skin. She got the nails right. She got the long hair. And she's different. She's smoking weed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. She hang with city <laughs> girls. <laughs> She might be a city girl. <laughs> she might be a city girl. She danced to Meg, probably. Some shit like she that. She probably does twerk to Meg and Nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Look, look. I know she could I mean, be that's a, a dance. dance. I was that's already a, like, you dance. just threw that ass little piece in there. All right, cool. I'm I ain't say she probably shake her ass to Meg. I said hey. she probably danced to Meg. She you probably twerk. That's Shout a dance. Shout out to you. Of, yeah. you know but anyway. Like, my God, this old man syndrome you guys. <laughs> All I was going to say is, I think, um, you know, my perspective of it is like, you know, to whom much is given, much is uh, expected. Expected, right? Or well, message required. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think it's unfortunate because yo, you did lose your moms, and and I I, I don't know how that feels. Right. Um, I don't know if you guys understand how that feels, and, I, and I'm and I'm pretty sure it hurts. But a rule is a rule. Is the is the rule stupid as fuck? Maybe. Right? Could we have the conversation of why the fucking rule even exists? Probably so. What? What? Come on, man. This is Should've a big international business. If you take the wool away, now niggas walking around Olympia campus smoking doobies all day long. Come on, bro. This is big business, bro. Like, let's let's leave the, the, the recreational drugs and drugs period to our social time and not on business time. This is still a business. Still a business. What is we don't we want, have to do her We don't want NBA players walking up to the basketball stadium smoking big blunts or whatever. But Same even, thing, whatever but they even admit that they do too. But even Steven that, Jackson though, say he smoke but weed you every keep day. it away but from yeah. the business. That's the only point I'm making. But even that though, I think last year they literally just lifted the uh, 
testing NBA players for uh, marijuana. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, so as long as we don't see you with it, it's all good? I mean, I, I like that idea. Because you smoke fuck, weed. No, because it's none of your fucking business what I do behind my back. But, so, so, oh, but what shit. I will say is, though, what the fuck does weed smoking have to do with anything? So, let's have that conversation. Anything let's, sport-wise. So, let's have that conversation, right? This is, this it is. It actually relaxes relax so, your muscles. And who are the so, most active athletes in the world? Basketball, football. Baseball niggas play 180 games. You think them niggas ain't smoking doobies, nigga? You so let's on. have that conversation though. Let's let's have say, what does it have to do with it, right? Have you not heard? And I'm gonna ask both of you guys. Have you not heard anybody throughout your life, your entire life, of smoking weed? Have you ever heard somebody say, "I do this better when I'm high"? Hell yeah. Right. So if you say, what does it have to do with the sport? I'm just speaking of this in general. Listen, no, yo, no. Yo, he hey, said yo. weed is a performance enhancing. I mean, no, no, weed is a no. performance enhancing drug. <laughs> Listen, I, first of because all, because I told you it is. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate, right? Okay, I'm just saying. Right. Have you heard it? You said yes. I've heard it. Have you heard it? Unfortunately, pretty sure you heard it. I don't believe so it, if, but I've heard. But, it. but guess what, though? We talk about track, right? Like I, I did run track. Track is one of the most um, strenuous when it comes to the mind, right? It's like it gives you anxiety. I don't know the right word for it, but it's like it gives you anxiety just being in the pit. You sweating, you nervous. Even with coming, like being on a line, people fall start because they're nervous. Now you're telling me if I had a blunt, that wouldn't co- calm my nerves? Yeah. That's and is that, but, but is that an enhancement? Think about it. If an enhancement is something that adds to, let's look it up. Let's look it up. I'm well, a, first of all, uh, weed ahead, reacts differently to different people. I don't niggas that smoke weed and don't do shit all day. I know niggas that smoke weed and can't think straight. I know that's niggas smoke weed and can't remember shit. I think that's the worst thing you can do. But if you can smoke weed and you can do it, that's like saying uh, you're not supposed to drink soda or you're not supposed to eat before you go swimming because you'll get cramps. Some people do. Some niggas eat cheeseburgers and do it. Right. I seen Embiid on the sideline. I said you're not supposed to digest real food before games. Nigga was smashing a cheeseburger, two cheeseburgers before a game. It's different things for different people, but those aren't illegal. Same thing you said that uh, people say, oh, yeah, you smoke weed. I, is it? Yeah, it might be enhanced, but people also say Tupac is alive on an island. But Have no, you I'm seen not. Him? I'm not saying that. Alive. No, I'm. Tupac all I'm saying is, is all I'm saying is, <laughs> l- let's speak to the. Let's speak to it, right? You said it does different things to different people, right? Mm-hmm. So for the person that that has anxiety, right, and they smoke weed and it calms them down, isn't that an advantage? Because if everybody at the pit has, and if everybody at the pit is nervous and you're the only one that can smoke weed and calm your nerves, that's not kind of that's not kind of an enhancement. I mean, I'm not it's saying like that saying that your stomach hurting. Because, you know what I mean? You get anxiety, stomach hurt, and you drink Pepto Bismol, and now your stomach feel better. Like, like, it's like everybody has a reason for shit. Like, bro, but like at the end of the day, there's no written reason. There's no written thing saying this happens if you do this, and this is why you can't do it. They say you cannot smoke this weed in everything because of what? Why? Why? Because I- it's a illegal drug? Wait, where? How many? They're about to be legal. Damn yeah, and it's definitely legal where she's at. But everything moves at its own pace. So just because the United States might be moving towards, you know, national legalization doesn't mean that it's the same feeling in the rest of the world. So, so like, you know, th- enhancement. I, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. No, no, no. I, I, the, the point I'm making is, is that I don't disagree. I feel like we should be legalized. Facts. I feel like it should be pushed away from the business. You know what I mean? Meaning that on your personal time, do what you want, but on business time, let's let's. So I'm um, just for the sake of an argument, right? It says enhancement, uh, enhancement, and increase or improvement in quality, right? Increase or improvement in quality. So if weed decreases a negative, isn't that a positive? Yes. So right. So it's either it's, if it increases something, it can enhance. But if it decreases a negative, it still can enhance. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. Are you saying that? No, are you saying that no regiment that anybody uses before a game can work because okay. it's uh, to like advantage? icy hot? Like or, it's mad things people yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. It's so, mad things people do. Like, and that's a great point. So, <laughs> like, not like that. I'm just really real shit. Like, because there's no scientific, like, for sure about yeah. weed doing any of this. It's literally what we're telling everybody Facts. who smokes weed says how weed makes them feel when we've come together and told the world how it is. And now we have this line in line of weed makes you, oh, you got red up. Oh, I can't do nothing. <laughs> I can fly. Oh, mom, high as shit. Oh, this weed is loud. Like, we made this whole context of what weed is. And weed is a muscle relaxing situation for anxiety with case and be when you have pain, things like that. Your mother was told to smoke weed from your doctor. You had glaucoma. <laughs> like, this shit been around a long ass time right. to fix certain things. But do wow. we have other subscriptions and prescriptions of all these other things that they can do, but can have the same feeling? Because li- literally, 
most of the things that help us heal and other things of that nature are mental things. Even things that you tell yourself things, is things, really helping you get through the way. Too, like, like shit in football, the little shots they give you, the little pain shots, mm. that definitely could be an enhancement the way depending on you mm. look at it. That's why I say for the sake of argument, because again, get going back to Shikari, right? I think the rule is dumb. Like, this is what I said at first. I think the rule is dumb. The rule shouldn't be there because, like, it just, I mean, it's just some old ass shit, to be honest. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's, like, I mean, it just is what it is. I don't nah, think it should be. I I just, but what I do with the, what I do say is it is a rule. And yeah. I think, um, I think she did get a smack on the wrist. And I think a lot of people on social media is dragging it, like, talking about making it a black thing. I just don't think it's a black thing. That's mm-hmm. my personal opinion. I think <clears throat> they. I think that I think I think it is both ways. I feel like a lot of times, yeah, these people are always a black and white thing. I feel like white people make it. They love that. They love that argument of mm-hmm. like of like oh oh, and then we and we go back. Oh wow, we always got to make it racial. They love being looking in front of the side like yeah, tell them it ain't racial. But like bro, you you know what the fuck it is. Like y'all saw that little girl all over the news and everywhere for a week straight of how amazing she was, and you had that little small moment and you seen it. Whoever got the drug test and seen it and was like, damn, talk to her about it. She found out what was going on and how, how she was and things of that nature. It's like, okay, you know what? Let's take this and put this everywhere on the world. But I mean, it's, but I it's feel like going we to do be that, everywhere I feel because like we do failed. that to everybody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No, I'm not Shit. saying any of this is wrong. I'm just saying it's fucked up. But it's like the main point of this, my argument of it all is, it's I, like, I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't it's think it's racial. that deep. I don't, I think, I don't think that is that fucked up. I think the rule being there is more fucked up than the consequence and it being and and it this being all over the news. Be an interesting conversation too, yeah. And I say that because again, the rule itself should be I think the conversation should be amongst the rule and not amongst what's going on. Because again, one, she is the fastest woman in the United States right now, right? Correct. So because she's that fast the fastest girl, like I said, so whom much is given, much is required. So because this has happened, of course it's gonna be a huge headline. Mm-hmm. Because of who you are. So if you know who you are, granted, I'm this is just me speaking towards the rule of what's going on. It's not nothing to do with yeah. why she did it, you right? I, def- I definitely understand. To do with that. Definitely understand that. But I'm saying for the sake of a rule in black and white, right? A rule is, a, is is put in place to to have things work in its favor, right? And I think you know because she broke the rule, of course, it's going to be in the public. To your point, I I just don't think it's a race thing. How everybody is making it's like, yo, she got caught with weed in her system. She got suspended for thirty days. In her 30 days, have you seen, have you seen the comments from white people? No, I haven't. I think well, you, I think well, you time on Twitter had, and take. So I actually seen. I don't want to get. No, nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Swear to God, I actually seen one podcast. They did an emergency um podcast, and they was fully on her side, and they were saying that they was the ones that saying the rule is dumb and shit. The rule is old, is outdated. It shouldn't be here. I swear. Then I saw one where a white lady said, "You know what? Uh, hair changing and nail growth." Is a sign of steroids. And maybe that <laughs> First of all, white lady bitch. They all fake. It's all fake. She put it. She bought it. Oh, it's she hers. Bought that shit. Wait, you stupid what ass what bitch. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck you mean? Then she had another picture of an older uh, lady who got disqualified for cocaine or something back in like the 60s. And she had long nails. See, see the strength in her hands. And she said that for real. Like, bro, it was the racist shit I've ever seen in my life. And it's so ignorant of white people. I need to follow of the certain people kind. You're following. That's your, your terrible. Your section be lit, yo. I can, I can, wait, I'm gonna try to pull it up. I can't believe somebody said that. I'm gonna try to pull it up. That's wild. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's I'm bad. I'm gonna see what's going on. Man, but, but at that's... the end of the day, I, I think I think it's a situation. It's over with. I feel like she's gonna. She's young enough to wear. She still got another Olympic coming. You know what I mean? She's going to be able to get some gold medals out of this scenario. She's right going to be able to turn around and get some more stuff later on. So, like, let's just, you know, I feel like, yo, it happened. It's over with. Let's move forward. Like, I yeah. mean, yeah, I think I definitely pray it's out for this young lady, man. I feel like um, you strong. I feel like it's going to be better. You know what I'm saying? To keep it 100. I think, um, you know, Olympics come every four years, but guess what? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. We'll fuck with them anyway. But, um, facts. That's a fact. <laughs> fuck that it. was deep. I mean, yo, uh, speaking of somebody else we don't fuck with. Or do you? You guys fuck with uh, Bill Cosby? Yeah. Man, I can't say Bill nothing Cosby, man. He's free now. Why can't you say anything like this? That he's bullshit, free. bro. bro. Take he's a free. shot, bro. You want some bullshit? Nah, bro. Bill Cosby's free. Why can't you say anything? They said the cases. They said everything was dropped. Mm-mm. And they said no, on top, they didn't drop. The it's case. not dropped. It's not dropped. He got okay. So what happened is there was an agreement. He test. He did some testifying in the past on some other shit in like 2005. There you go. 
as a part of his agreement to testify, all of the stuff pertaining to the pill gang gets, you know what I mean? Like he he can't be he can't be so uh prosecuted on it and he can't be judged on it. Yeah. So they didn't bring it up earlier. They they locked him up. And once they found out this agreement was in place, they had to let him out. So that whole case and everything, all of the verdicts and all that is like it's it's much. All right, shit. man. This is what it is. All right. But Bill was a little freaky de. That's all it was. But two of the women that said that he did some shit both came out and said that they lied. Well, Bill admitted that he did some wild now, shit. There were forty. <laughs> there were forty five women that that accused him of the. Was it forty five or was it sixty? It might have been something it, it like that. Hey, yeah, yeah, it it been something like six. I think it was a magazine cover with like a hundred white bitches on there. Right, right. Because obviously that's so all he wanted back in the day. More than two of them said they lied. It was probably about 15, 20 of them that said they lied. I'm going to keep saying, it a buck. Bro, go ahead. Go ahead and curse another them bitches, and, and go ahead and curse ten them bitches, black man. Ten of them bitches probably was telling the truth. Hey. So, I will uh, give them, and this is not me being, all right, I don't want to sound like insensitive. Because I do believe women... Where, you know what I mean? A lot of times it's hard, you know what I mean? So we spoke on Megan, it's like a lot of people don't believe black women sometimes and so right. a lot of these were white women. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them came back to back to back to back. Like, bitch, you had hella time to tell when Bill Cosby popped the pill and popped that pussy. Now you want to tell it when he, you know what I mean, 75 years old and blind in the eye. Like, this nigga like old as shit. I feel as though it just took mad long. I feel like after a certain amount of time, it's like, whatever, he served, what, how many years he did? Two, two, two and a half. I mean, all right. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, it's not no straight up evidence on like him doing 40, 50, like he's a serial pill pill giver. You know what I'm saying? A serial pill popper. A a serial pill (laughs) popper and shit. He's just out here going. And on another note, just real quick before I end it, like a lot of them bitches walked in that room and drank that liquor at their own will and they was going to suck and fuck Bill regardless. And Bill just wanted it to happen a little faster. (laughs) Or he just didn't want to have no evidence. He didn't want nobody to remember shit. Nah, so I ain't going to lie to you. Um... I've been, I've been trying to do a lot of study and just looking at what's going on. Cause my, my take at first was like, man, yo, it's 60 people that, that, that said he did something. Honestly, 60 people compared to a celebrity really ain't a lot. Right. That's how I was looking at it at first. He fucking bitches every day. Right. But then I was thinking about it. Like he did come out and he did. He said, man, maybe a pill may have No, he said, he, he said, he said he did. He said he did. When? He literally in the in the um test in the, in, in the, uh his testimony he, he said, said he did he said he gave a he said he gave a woman a, um what type of pill it was, was type it of pill. yeah he said he gave a woman a pill he said that so you saying that granted of course I'm gonna tell the truth if if I if Is I know it I'm not the by same the, type of pill or did he give a bitch an excedrin and shit and now you trying to make it seem like it's a date rate drug yo like, if I it, gave you a pill to 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 put you to sleep right. To he touch said, I gave Shorty the pill to put her to sleep so I could get that pussy. Bro, I mean, what else she putting her to sleep for? Bro. <laughs> Maybe she was tired. Maybe he about to leave. You want to make sure she got good, nice rest. You meet rest. a girl the first night, you give her a pill so she can get some fucking rest on your bed? Well, first of all, that bitch, he's leaving. she ain't staying in my room. I ain't. All, all I'm saying is, bro. Everybody that pop Bill's pill. Uh, Bill's <laughs> pill. Oh, no, all I'm saying is, bro, listen, no cap. He admitted that he did this. Mm. He literally admitted this, right? So, you know, after thinking of it, a man that admitted that he did this, bro, that's some fucked up shit, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, at first, I was with him. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100. I was with him all the way. I'm like, bro, like, my man, that probably was back in the day, long time ago. I was with him. But now that I, I see that he testified on himself, granted, he testified on himself because, again, he knew he wasn't gonna get locked up. You feel me? Like, he knew he wasn't gonna get prosecuted, and that's understandable. But at the same time, it's like, my nigga, you said you did this. Mm. And for me to support anybody that said they did that is like, that's kind of wild. All right. Did not know anything about the self-testimony. That's why he got off, though. Hey, man. The, but that's the, how he got off. Like, but you so two and a half years not a lot? I mean, is bro, that enough? Fuck no, bro. Like, uh, all right, So how many years should we give this? What did he say? He gave two bitches pills? Or did bro, he say he how many bitches did he give pills? Bro, all I'm saying is he said he you did this shit. You know a lot. Niggas said, what, 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 what they say? If he, if, <laughs> like, if, if he, he said one, he, did, he gave them all? Bro, listen, all I'm saying is, Not man, 60 bitches, though. Listen. 10, 10 bitches, Bill Price. So why would you come out and testify and say you did it, right? Because, you know, 10 on me really did. He was like, fuck, but 60, even if, I ain't do 60, nigga. Bro, even if you Whoa, did, bro. bro. It was 60 on a magazine. You know what I'm saying? I ain't do all the bitches. Even if 10? But I'm saying, like, if you've already pre-negotiated that you can't be prosecuted over it, what that's my point. point. No, that's my so point. Like, yeah, you, you gonna talk your shit. No, yeah, no, 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 no. If you if you negotiate that you're not gonna get prosecuted, you're gonna tell the truth because you're not gonna get locked up, right? So at first, I swear to God, right? I just talked about this on the radio, and I was and I, and I took it back as soon as I was reading because I didn't really read. I didn't know anything about it. 
So I'm like, yo, nah, it's not fair, bro. Like, I don't know if these bitches lying, ain't no evidence, et cetera, et cetera. And then I read up and I'm like, I understand why he got off. He didn't get exonerated or anything like that. He got off because a fucking judicial uh, error. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Off of some fucked up shit that the courts did and a, and a dumbass lawyer was fucked up, right? Okay. So okay. now that I'm reading up on it, I'm like, yo, no, this nigga actually did that shit. And he, so told you wanted him to, he told on his suit. And so you want Bill to get more and years? And he paid Shorty off after the fact. So she, and he she, paid this bitch like 3.5 million. Michael, 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 Michael Jackson paid people too. He didn't touch some kids. What? I'm not paying for <laughs> what, what I will say is what I can- Shut up money. Niggas wanted shit to go away. Bro, niggas you want shit to go away. I know mad situation when niggas paid it to go away. That's what though, Stars, right? Bro, throughout the whole two and a half years in prison, right? He kept his innocence. Like he he never he never pleaded no guilty. He never pleaded nothing. He was like, nah, I'm innocent. That's mm -hmm. what he said in his whole two and a half years, right? So if you're innocent in two and a half years in prison, you're going to be innocent out of jail. Regardless, if you're innocent, you're innocent. That's how I'm looking at it. And that's why I said, I, until I read up on it, I didn't really understand it, like the, the depth Maybe of it. Maybe he didn't rape that girl. Maybe it was the other chicks that he gave pills Okay, to. And, 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 and that's the argument. Why, why is it, why is it, listen. I'm innocent of this. Okay, like, I guess this one, I, I didn't fuck that bitch. Or, now, in other ones, I ain't got to or, 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 right? I don't or, know that one, bitch. Or, let's look at it like this. Or, Two years is a hell of a light time than 10 years, right? So if I get arrested and I know it's unfair and I know that we about to beat these motherfuckers and we about to uh, file an appeal, yeah, I probably do keep my innocence to keep it 100. Because I know y'all wrong and I'm going to get off. Yeah. To be honest. Man, yeah. Bill knew he wasn't getting off. That's why he started talking. He said, I mean, what do you want to know? All right. I, this is not even a, the greater conversation is do you feel like he deserves more time and how much time is appropriate? Bill so, had one eye and he was 75, man. So I Fact. think, to be honest, bro, I ain't gonna lie. After reading it, bro. <laughs> this nigga J won't build a dime. Nah, jail. I Lord didn't. Jesus you gotta understand. Christ. Yo, you gotta understand. Really free. <laughs> you gotta understand, bro. I can pull up radio edits of he me. He did two and a half years. On his side. But after reading it, bro, no, I feel like he probably should be still in prison. More time. How much time? So. Yo, don't want to build a dime prison. I, I don't can't know. Believe. I ain't gonna lie. It's fucked up, bro. But also, what you was doing to yeah. other. Other Damn. woman is fucked up too. Come Bill Cotton. Bro, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. That's just my, that's just my opinion. Y'all can call me a simp, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This nigga still but ain't nigga, give me a amount of years. I don't know how many years. I feel like this. I feel like this. Years, Thirty. Years. They walked in the room. They knew what they was going on. Ain't no girl walk, and he ain't push none of them bitches in them hotel rooms. Bro, you tell me. So you tell me you can't, you can't go on a date with a bitch, right? Y'all go home and she not want to fuck you and you give her a pill and take her and take advantage Damn, of her. Back Stop when playing. Bill, back when Bill was that nigga, he was about to buy NBC. Bro, it, all right, this so one coming Can I ask something? Can I ask something? How many bitches walking in Drake room don't want to fuck Drake? Have, have you not been that nigga in your, in your space? Yes. Right. Is it any chick that ever wanted to prove to you that you wasn't that nigga because you wasn't going to treat her like, like any other girl? Um, yes. Don't lie. Yeah. Exactly. So, hypothetically, out of 60 girls, right, what if one girl wanted to be that one chick that wanted to make, uh, make it known that you ain't that nigga how you think you that nigga so you ain't gonna have sex with me. And at that moment, you take advantage of her, that's fucked up. Period. Uh, that's fucked up. And I no real no nigga wanna do that. I ain't no Bill Cosby like no, <laughs> But you've been that, no, we talked about this before. I'm, saying, I'm, just you saying, you saying, I'm not saying nothing you saying wrong. I'm not saying nothing you saying wrong. What I'm saying is, I feel like two and a half years for a nigga to do some shit, if he did anything, 30 odd some odd years ago, you feel me? He, he old, he fucked up, he, he broke in for real, they made a nigga sit for two all right, I don't really, I don't really feel like I'm, I'm mad that Bill Cosby free. It's like, all right, he going he about to go away soon. Bill Cosby got a good five years in him. You feel me? He's so, already going to die now, being known as the pill, the pill slinger. So, so, you so, feel me? So if he did that to Paige, how would you feel? Oh my God, Paige is come what the fuck, the fuck. If Paige was 21 and he did that to, to her, how would he, you feel? Uh, a 21-year-old white woman? I didn't see no, nothing. No, if he did that to Paige, I didn't say if he did that to a 21-year-old white you woman. You asked me if Bill Cosby Put pill, pill popped my daughter. Like, yes. that make any sense, of course. So, so, so what I'm saying is- Did he, did, did you know any of the women inside so, the pill? No, I didn't, but what I'm saying Does is- Does any woman but, have but evidence no, of popping the pill? Why is it, why is it, why is it that if it was something that was to you personally, right? Uh -huh. You look at it differently to somebody that's not, to, that don't have- Because it's society and that's what I'm going to fucking that's do every not, time. And I feel like that's not fair. It, okay, you feel like it's not fair. How I, many years you want to get Bill Cosby, Jay? Bro, We've asked you seven times. And I told Should you, he I die in jail? I, I don't know. Should what Bill I, Cosby die in jail? You're man, judging know, everything, man. but not giving a direct I, so answer. If, if the maximum, so the maximum, if the maximum years was 10, life, if, if the maximum prison. No, I think it was 10. Let's, let's be real. So I think his maximum years was 10. If it was is, 10, that, is, that, is that okay for him to nah, get 10 if years it, for this? If it, if it was, if it was, if it was your stepdaughter? For pill popping 60 chicks, only 10 years, yo? 
That's light. Come yeah. on, son. I mean, I, gonna, I mean, it's your judicial. You, 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 you want a judicial yeah, system? I ain't, I ain't gonna you lie to you. respect the judicial system. I mean, system. bro, only I'm only saying this. You gotta understand my my stance before I read, bro. Like right, I right. literally was on his nigga side, bro. Right, right. I even said so about bad, the chick was her name, Felicia. Bro, I literally was on his no, side. No, that's Felicia. But I want to talk about Felicia Rashad. But the nigga, but, but the nigga <laughs> admitted to it. Shout out Felicia, yo. I got you. I'm gonna stand by. All right, how many? I'm gonna stick beside him. How many years would you want to give Bill? Who me? Yeah. Bill could have did a straight five and I'd been good with it. <laughs> I keep it hundred. Two and a half, I ain't tripping either though. It's like you got one eye. That nigga so, by itself so, every day. So, so he, did he five, really like fucked up. So he did five, you could do what? Uh, a year and a half time. Yeah, like, right, right. Plus parole. Yeah, like, you had this nigga walking around with an ankle bracelet? Hey man, it, with, honestly, without any dead honest proof of 30 the years ago. The proof was him, his fucking boy. Yes, I did that. What the mean, what you mean? No, he said he gave a woman a certain pill. We didn't say he stuffed Read it in her mouth. Look it up, bro. He did said, he say he dropped it in bro, the drink? If, if you're getting accused for giving Show me pills, when Bill said, said I, I dropped this pill in this white bitch drink, and now bro, I'm about it. to, I fucked her afterwards. He said it. Show me. Read it. You read telling me to read something that you, you always on his speaking facts talking about niggas with percentages and shit. Nigga, you always talking about paperwork. Show me the voicemail of this nigga talking about he popped the pill and dropped it in the white bitch drink. Cause it was 60 bitches and, right. and 57 right, of them so, were white. Right, let, me, let me ask this question. I can make it way easier. So there's videotape of him dropping the pill. And Show me the footage, Jay. The drawer. I'm saying, you saw the footage. I'm just saying, from the perspective of we saw him dropping his dick off. I'm dropping dick off. He dropped his dick off. And you saw it. It was in the courtroom. They like, damn, this all I mean, did, did, the nigga fucked up, then JS1. Yeah. That's <laughs> all I'm saying, bro. How, it sounds like I'm telling me. How many years do we give the nigga at that point? When he videotape popping the Yeah, 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 yeah. How many years? Dropping the pill and dropping the dick off. All on the same How many years? On the same tape? How many years did R. Kelly get? R. Kelly ain't got shit. He's not he gonna get no years. Yeah, damn. And he's trying to get out. Why They're not even gonna give him no years, bro. They're gonna let him sit. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo oh, he was gonna take with a fourteen-year-old saying that shit. Like, nigga, gonna say, how long you got ever? Ever. <laughs> ever. And for the record, ever. y'all was making fun of me the other day, yo. They do have news reports of him being physically abused in jail. He got stabbed up in jail. They are fucking that nigga up in jail. Bro. Wait, what that guy do with anything? Because we made fun of me. He deserved that shit. Of course. That's fucking what I said. little ass kids. I've been saying that. But shit. you still want to fuck to his music. Hey, y'all see yeah. this shit, JB? I mean, yo, nah, I'm not going to lie. That's yo. That's a different. Yo, wait a minute. That's a different. You're trying, you're trying to let Bill out of jail, nigga. What no, the bro. Fuck? Bill, Bill was, ain't got no video saying, I love this 14 year old pussy, bro. Bro, <laughs> Bill is fucked up, but I'm still going to watch the Cosby's. I'm still gonna watch it. He's still a fucked up nigga. I didn't see nobody. Yeah, I love the Cosby. And that's what I'm saying. R. Kelly is a fucking rapist, Yo, but some, his music is still great. Y'all some crazy. I it's, seen R. Kelly. I didn't see Bill. It's 60 women, bro. I, I didn't, didn't see, see the video. It's 60 tape. women. We, it's online. Just type well, R. Kelly I fucking children. Because I ain't a pervert. Why, why, why you want to watch a grown man fucking well, I didn't. You the one said you didn't see it. I thought you were just Because I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to see it. Yo, you just listen to his music, yo. <laughs> Your fucking mind telling you no shit. <laughs> Fuck up. You clearly <laughs> listen to his music. I mean, I used to. Until he started sucking but children's been, vagina. But he been, he, been, he been doing that for forever. All right. And I that song is old as shit. Make your mind up. I'm not fucking. You either, you either you don't make your mind up. Is a playlist come on and Sean A tell you turn it? Or Sean A tell you bumping and grinding. grinding. I'm bumping and grinding. Y'all staring at each other for at least 10 seconds no, we and laughing. Not. I'm no, fucking. not. You're not keeping it you up. Niggas like, is not I'm, paying no attention I'm, to that shit. They going I'm right fucking. in. I'm fucking. You tripping. We fucking. <laughs> you know what, the, R. Kelly music is great. R. Kelly ain't a great person. It's that simple. Right. Period. Well, I'm watching the Cosby's. And I am too. Yeah. But fuck Bill Cosby. The same thing. Same thing. Consistent in my message. Welcome home, Bill. <laughs> the nigga name is Bill. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was too gross. I said, this joke right itself. <laughs> pill popper. <laughs> Bill the pill. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. I'm gonna go 20 minutes of this. All right, next segment. Felicia next Rashad, segment. man. Felicia Rashad, I feel like Felicia. In the public. In the, Didn't in you the, say she carried was fine? Yeah, she fine. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, now, now you see so oh, now you see so <laughs> You was a fucking oh, Felicia Felicia is fine. Fine. for fucking oh my Wait a minute. So hey, Felicia Rashad so is in the trial? No, we gotta spin that we, back. You, you were scared of shit. You just said Felicia Rashad was. We said Shakari. Who is that? You fucking. The twenty-one year old girl. When I said the running girl. What? I said the running girl was we said the 21. Hey, hey, don't get me involved in that you shit. You said it. No, man. Like, she cool. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Bro? Like, no. I'm talking about a grown ass woman. I ain't talking about no little ass woman. You talking girl. about an old ass woman now. That's what make you comfortable talking Felicia, about old bitches. Yo. 
Am I your I problem? the only nigga in here? I said, yo, let's talk about Felicia Rashad. Y'all talk. And then, so that's what you got excited about just now? Yeah, she's sexy as a motherfucker. <laughs> Felicia Rashad is sexy as a motherfucker. What did you talk that's, about? That's different. Fifty, bro, so it's different. Hey, yeah, it's different. hey, stop putting years on my life, nigga. Fuck out of here with that bullshit, yo. Are you 50? 52. Fuck you, nigga. You right. know I ain't no guy. Oh, Felicia, 50. do you know? She's definitely 50. She's around your age. <laughs> she's she she's, she's, she's older she's 65. than She's older But than is she I. closer to you than Shakari? Most definitely, nigga. Come on, yo. Fuck out of here. All right, then. So she can so she can be fine now. Of course. Is she sexy to you? Let's get into the old love. What is sexy? Love what is sexy? What we're like? not gonna do is that. Only What's thing I love? will say is it should be okay for a person to have their own opinion. If Alicia Rashad wants to celebrate Bill Cosby getting out of jail, well, I feel like y'all should be all in the nigga comment section going fucking nah, ape facts. shit. Nah, you know facts. what I mean? First of all, she old enough to be y'all mama. Sit your ass down, nigga. Don't fucking get out that grown ass woman business, my nigga. That's Claire Huxtable though, bro. That's her. Claire Huxtable like, ain't take she no has, shit. She has a personal relationship with Bill. Regardless of what happened in public, yo, like that, that's a personal friend, bro. You know what I'm saying? She gonna, until she sees <laughs> something different, she gonna stand behind a friend. You gonna hate standing by. Stand behind they, standing with their friends. I'm gonna stand beside. No, I'm just saying, like, as far as the, like, as far as the, 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 you know, like, you think she's she old enough to be your I'm mother? Sorry, am I off topic? <laughs> That's her business type shit. She definitely fucked Bill. I just feel like we be sitting up here on this podcast talking about bitches' business so much, but now because she's fifty, stay out of our business. She don't know to be your mom. It's like pick a side. What the fuck are you? Do you, you literally about just said. What Jay, are you talking about? You literally about? just said, "How are you trying to th- lace up all of that shit with this?" What are you talking about? Bro, you let repeat somebody. It. Yo, I'm saying let her support. That's her, her business, friend. right? That's her business to support. Stay her out of her business, right? Let her support her friend. I'm pro. Let her support her friend. Yeah, but when yeah, you I say stay out of her business, yo, she a woman. That's a, like that's what you said. I mean, I'm in it too. Like you gotta be a woman. Like yo, if you had a homeboy that got that was alleged to have done something, and you stood next to him, like yo, salute my nigga. He just got out of jail. I'm gonna do that. What I'm you gonna want do that. Me? Yo, y'all flood that nigga mentions, yo. No, nigga, yo, you standing with your friend, bro. Like, now I, I, I'm now I'm on her side. I'm pro her. Like if that's your friend, bro, and it, it ain't no, it ain't no, um, it ain't no evidence. No matter I, how I feel about the nigga, that's your friend. Stay beside your friend. Let's be real. That was the first really major role that made her the superstar that she is. So she, he literally changed her life forever. So like, there's a certain respect level you're gonna have for somebody that gave you that fucking shot and gave put that bread in your pocket. Put you in the lifestyle. I mean, she could just post a picture and be like, "Welcome life. home, Bill." Like she ain't had to do. Well, she like, didn't want to do that. She didn't want to do that. That's our friend. Well, now she got to trying to like it. fire this chick from being a dean at Howard. Yeah, not yeah. try. They did. Wait, that, they, wait, they did already. Yeah, I thought they was trying to get her to step down. Pull the plug on her. That's what I'm saying. Is that fair? I'm making so. a statement. Now you could you could say, "Yo, that's off color. Yo, you shouldn't do it or whatever." But to snatch somebody's life away from them for supporting somebody, like, come on, bro. Like, yo, give it a stank eye. Like, you ain't got to go, you ain't got to hang out. I'm not saying that, yo, y'all should still hang out with her, but yo, come on, you want to snatch nigga life away from them, yo, over some shit So like what happens that? is, I think, you know, again, back to the Shikari thing, right? I feel like, you know, to whom much is given, much is required, much is expected. So if you are supporting a alleged rapist, then, and you're the dean at Howard or one of the schools at Howard, let's get it correct, then your face is representing us. You're not just... Felicia anymore, right? You're, you're, you're the dean at the school at Howard. So if we can't have our dean supporting a rapist and that looks bad for us, I can understand that decision. Do I agree with it? Not really. Let me ask you a question. Would you have appreciated more if the, if the management staff called you and said, please, can you recant the statement? If not, then we'll fire you or just I make a statement and next thing I know, I find out on Twitter, I got fired and shit. Damn. I mean, I feel like it's, it's situational. Like I, I, I fuck with the Nike approach. Like we still stand in Mahaji regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I mean that's cool. But like you said, it's a big, it's a I mean, big, like she, it's a big <clears throat> organism. Ain't like she said, like, oh man, he ain't do it. Right. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like she tweeted, yo, yeah, my nigga popped on these bitches and still got out. Like, you know what I'm saying? She, it wasn't like that. she said it was a miscarriage of um what, like what was it exactly? Ooh, she used some exquisite words and shit, some real. So she's basically knowledge. saying that like they were wrong for for even putting them. Putting my man. Well, the first, well, the first thing that was said was everything was dropped. That was the first message that was out. So maybe she got a whiff of what was going on. She got excited because it said that and she just jumped the gun on it a little bit. I'm going to put it to that. I don't think 
if she knew like the inside scoop like Jay Hill does <laughs> about uh you know Bill making a he secret exchange with the government so they can <laughs> so Bill can be free within I mean, two and a half years. So Star's got a lot of shoulder action going on. You know what I'm saying? Because you, yo, you know what I'm saying? Right, like Jay, because he, he really came in here with some shit like no, nah, because this said in the morning. Because he said it. He right. said I did he was it. Prepared for the smoke, man. No, cool. he said I did it. I'm just there was some shit that was an easy read. What I'm saying is this. It was easy. He said it. It was clear. That's why he got off. So I mean, so so you're so basically. They're saying he, on record, he didn't do anything, right? On record, he, he said did he it. Did some shit. Literally. Uh, so why is she get messed up though? If, if, if he really but she ain't got didn't read the article, my nigga. She just seen she her. Exactly. That's her what I'm saying. She got out of jail and she yeah. saluted and she jumped out. My, my dog. He just came out the, out the feds. And like, the, what's her name? Felicia. 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 Fuck with you. I, I mean, I would have did the same thing for my friend, honestly. To be honest, to keep it all the way the same, the same layout of shit. Like your friend's a pill slipper, pill popper. I mean, if that's my friend, and I don't think he, there's no, if it's no evidence, I would do that. If that's my friend, but again, because that's not my, my friend, I'm just reading what's what, what's on file. I'm making an opinion of it. So, and I think that you said it. You're a pill popper. You're a rapist. You posted a okay. picture. You posted a picture when he get out. And saying welcome home. I knew the judicial justice system is is got it wrong, but you got. I it mean, right. the judicial right. system is fucked up. All right, Jay. It is. It just I can't wait to wear your friends or something wrong. Let me, let me throw this like, question hey, why would you want to wish that? You're fucking. <laughs> I'm going to pose a crazy question because I want to know what y'all answer is. You have a friend, a close friend, like a best friend, somebody that really looked out for y'all. Y'all have a great relationship. They accused of rape. Accused, not, you know. How many uh, bitches? Yeah, they, we ain't even gone to court yet. Do you stop calling this nigga? Stop taking his phone no. calls? Y'all not going. You, you still want to hang out with this nigga? Yes, later? yes. On Thursday, but Friday, two more bitches come onto the line and say, hey, he raped me too. You going I'm going to have a Friday? conversation with my homie like, yo, you Whoa, good? What's going on, These three on, bitches, what's going on, right? I'm like, what's up, bro? You how, good? How many bitches before you stop answering the phone, Star? No, the, when it doubles up to about, about three or four. Three or four so, bitches. But not 60. So the first three chick or four, is, but not 60. Not so 60. Two, so two 60 girls is cool. My friends ain't famous. Bill Cosby, you Cosby shaped my childhood, nigga. Not, not 20 walk? from down the block. Okay. You feel me? But Tony from down the block is your friend. Yeah, I knew him since I was but little. But he might, look at a he nigga might rape bitches. So he might rape bitches. You look at a nigga that you don't even, and that's and that's a conversation in itself. Mm -hmm. We idolize these people that we don't even know. We don't know that. No, I, I just like because the show of a really fucking like. uh, TV show. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I'm still stuck on stars sure. being Tony can rape. He's two, a good actor. Can be accused of raping two bitches, but you still answer the phone. Three but or four the fire winners win is like the three or four bitches. Like, All right, Tony, what the fuck going on, man? I'm still bitches out here saying the same shit. You know this nigga is an actor, though, right? Huh? He's a really good actor. That's why you like the Cosby. But he ain't say shit on the but whole case. I'm saying he's a good. That's supposed to be because if he's a good actor, you like the Cosby, then maybe he acting like he didn't do shit. Bill Cosby he's said shit since this happened. Oh, so Jay Hill, how, how many accusations have to come across the table before you stop answering the phone? So he says three, three or four accusations. Again, for me, three or four accusations. Bro, it could be a thousand accusations. If you my friend, you say you ain't do it, and I ain't see nothing, I'm gonna take your side. Period. I can two can still coexist. Bill tell Cosby him, ain't my friend and I ain't, idol, I ain't idolizing no nigga that I don't know. So what I'm reading is he said he did it, so he did it. If my friend is telling me he didn't do it and it's just accusations, that's my friend, I'm on your side and to otherwise, period. Now, mm -hmm. I might have a conversation a with you like, bitches though, nigga? bro, a thousand and one bitches. I'm just, I might have a conversation <laughs> with you and like, yo, Bro, you good? Like, I mean, it's no, kind of weird. No, you didn't have a real conversation. Like, let me know what's going on. It's a thousand and one bitches that they came out. Come on, sit down with me at the show, like, man. The first know. thousand I was cool with, it's but like, that extra one, that put me on the top. I'm, I'm like, yo, bro, like, I mean, it's like a thousand. A thousand bitches. And one and a half bitches, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all some amazing, y'all some amazing niggas. Like, that's crazy. I said three. Bro, that's your friend. Jay Hill is that nigga, man. How many accusations? How many accusations? How many accusations? There's a two and then the third one. What's a little nigga you like nigga you be on the podcast No, 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 no. What's a little light skin nigga that you love so much? On your little podcast, what does it call? Who's in the little podcast? Who's on your little podcast? Yo, like no, what's the nigga name on the Aries Lounge joint? Are you talking about Will? Yeah, what's the name? Are you talking about Will? He's on Will. Ah, they got Will. Will, hey Will, you my man, yo, but you know what I'm saying? Will, 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 Let me tell you something. I'm a stay. His name, his name, Will, Bill, too. Right, right, right. Then another nigga named Pill. Yeah, right. DJ Pill. I'm gonna give Will twenty before I be like, yo, twenty accusations. Twenty, I mean, and you bitch over my three. Cause yo, he fuck some ugly ass bitches. So I like, yo, it's all good. Like sometimes. So he might rape some fine ones. No, so you just throw your dick on a chopping block, yo. You don't care. That means you gonna find some ugly shit to get into, my nigga. Like, man, you, ain't, you ain't raping ugly bitches. So, I mean, basically, you know I mean? so basically, ugly bitches you not have raping standards. ugly okay, bitches. Cool. No, no, no. He don't have standards. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Point. Hey, yo, what's he's his not name? out here. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna make it happen with Ooh, who he can make it happen. Friends with. like if you. they say yes, he's in there. Like so, you know twenty for for Will because he fuck ugly bitches. Facts. But, but, a nigga fuck that fuck ugly bitches. For, but a nigga that fuck bad bitches is three. 
Ten nines and dimes. That's some insecure hating that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm just saying that's some insecure hating that shit because you assume that because I, I fuck these bad bitches that if a bitch say I, I raped her, but your ugly nigga. Well, I mean, I your nigga that fuck ugly support. bitches. I didn't say you asked me about Will. You didn't ask about my other friends. You just you said the them. nigga that's nigga, not that's Will. your man. What well, you said in the beginning, if your man I'm raped saying. three likes with woman accusations, you was some I bullshit. Said I'm giving him twenty before I start twenty questions. accusations. Question. Before you start questioning. Question. Twenty. I got a question. I got a question though. I hate to, I hate to be I hate to be this guy. You know I'm always bringing <laughs> this is the most toxic shit, shit ever though. But you know yo, you know I, I I hate to bring the seriousness in it, right? But question: Is it a difference between a woman molesting a, a little boy and a man molesting a little boy or a little girl? Repeat that again. I'm sorry. Is it a difference between who Don't molests a child? A man, between a man or a woman? Man, a man mole- okay. No. I mean, you, you mean? So, oh, you mean? It, you I mean feel like in it's front of us, bad. or you mean like society? No, I feel like I mean it's like stars. Bad, no matter who does it. Now it's about to me. It's about you how. See, the, I, I mean, like you want to get into me, but I'm not getting into hey, this yo, so I'm easy though. You trying to, to go ahead, JS one? Hey, go yo, ahead. He trying to get me. Trying to lure me in. To, <laughs> He's to, to, to me, in my <laughs> perspective, it's to how the person that is is on the receiving end perceives the action. If they perceive it to be so, a if I, I, so if I like it and I'm a child, it's not molestation. I, I don't, yo, first of all, I don't got no <laughs> They don't like none of this shit. So, like, you yo, see, it, it depends on how we perceive it. So, from my child, first of all, yo, my that person wanted it and they, they went out. How do I know what the fuck I wanted from my child? That don't make sense. Oh, yo. so now, like, a little six year old don't have no idea what they doing for nothing? Six? What? Boy, they are you don't fucking dumb? I mean, I'm asking a question. Why did the age go down so low? <laughs> yo, are you okay, serious? So, what? 16 is not young anymore? What? So, you mean to tell adult? me? So, you mean to tell me? All right, let me, all right, let me ask you a question, JL. Stop. Before you get in, because y'all scratch your face up doing a whole bunch of bullshit. Let's be Real. You're 16 years old. You meet an 18 year old girl. You really want to hit it. You go after and pursue her. Is she raping that's you? That's not what I'm talking or about. Bro, sex? that's like I said, said molestation. The perception of the person Bro, who is being okay. Taken I get your point, but your you point, meant 16, but right? your point don't make if no the sense. 18 year old girl comes to at you and you're 16 and you wanted it. Jay, I don't think that's molestation. I said molestation doesn't matter between man or woman. It's that molestation. No matter, the, no matter the sex of the the the, the, the Person taking an action is bad, period. Right, but you just said. But you just said person, 18, 16, cool. I'm talking about the person on the receiving end. But their the person, on the, it, the person it, on the receiving end of a molestation is a child. Molest, can we look at the but, no, definition? I'm saying by the God damn. God. God. Jay, Jay Hill's the becoming the definition, definition man. Is, I've been this No guy. matter whether. No, listen to what I'm saying. Let's look it up. If you're 16 years old and you have sex with an 18 year old, that's. Is molestation. that molestation? Period. Is it? Yes, because it's not supposed to be happening, nigga. Is if it? you're underage, you're not supposed to, yo, if you're over 18, you're not supposed oh, to be yeah, having yeah, sex yeah, with yeah, an underage you, person. So if you're a nigga and you're 18 and she's 16, you definitely need to go jail for that. If you're a woman but the, and but you the parent, But somebody, the parent got to send you, though. You, it's not up to the door. This, yeah, 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 yeah. Because until huh? you're 18, you can't make your own choices until you Yeah, it says story. Yeah. Assault or so abuse. It's still a person not a mother It's bad, but it's just not as bad. Remember when Tiger was fucking with Kylie? It was like, she was young at some point, but she was under 18. But if the parents didn't, like have a problem with it, then he wasn't in. He couldn't get in trouble for it. See, but the it's thing consent. that made it nasty is they was talking about he was red shirting her the whole time. The concept of hey, I'm grooming her. I'm not having sex with her, but I'm chilling with her and I'm just grooming he her so that when she turns, yeah, well, was it red shirt or gray shirt at this point? <laughs> I have no idea. But it, you know what I'm saying. But it, <laughs> conceptually, they were talking about red shirt, and then when she turned 18, that's when he busted the cherry. That's what they were saying, and that's what well, made this that shit wrong? nasty. Yo. Yeah, he definitely was fucking up before. Hey, so, I don't know what niggas was doing behind closed doors. So all I'm Chris was like, so, y'all keep so, it down so, right, up there. Let's, <laughs> let's, not say, let's not say 16 or 18. All right. Let's say a grown ass man, mm-hmm. 30 years old, okay. and we someone a 10 year old. What the Completely fuck? Completely in a Is fucking pro. Does it matter between the sex of an adult, woman or man? Does it matter? It's completely, completely fucking disgusting. Period. So yeah. we had this, we seen this conversation of Kevin Gates saying he was molested, right? <clears throat> right. And I feel like, through my experience, I feel like I've definitely had some encounters with like older women when I was a child. Oh, man. How, how, <clears throat> if you feel comfortable, how old? I don't even remember. All I remember was asking like, what is all this hair? Under eight, uh, were you <laughs> under, all I remember. Were you under 16? I was definitely under 16. Okay. And the person was over 30? I think she was like my babysitter or I'm something. Sorry, that she wasn't over good. 30. Okay, she was like 25, something she like that. She probably wasn't even that, honestly, to be okay. honest. She so was this like a whole teenager. Conversation isn't even applicable to what you just said. But before. I, I think, so I'm asking because I feel like a lot of men do encounter this if it's man or woman. But mm. I feel like a lot, because of our society, right? And what mm. we create of a society, I feel like it's okay because men are, I don't know, like we're introduced to sex a lot younger than women, or I don't know, from my experience, right? 
So I think, you know, we're okay with it because that's something that we would like. Until we get uh, older and we understand that, like, if somebody was to do that to my child, I probably wouldn't like that. And I was asking because I'm like, yo, I was looking at this and, like, I never really... Well, I had an experience with... Uh, let's, we can go there, too. I had a couple experiences. If I may. Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel like... And, and you, this is going to take you having to go back in your mind. Mm-hmm. The discussion about sex between men and women being different. So we, as young boys, were encouraged to, yo, go after that. Oh, if you got an interesting girl. Most I mean, definitely. Your, your uncles and your cousins. Most and definitely. Your, even your father being like, yeah, you know, you getting to that age, boy. You want to go find you something. Da, 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 da. So in that instance, when an when a, a older woman comes to you and offers you something that you're being taught is the goal as a man, this is what you should be doing. This is what makes you a man. This is what defines who you are. So regardless of whether you're ready for it or not, you're kind of wanting to take that step because you want to be looked at as a man. You want to be looked at as somebody that is viable. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I've had this conversation a billion times. Yo, the reason why women have the most power in the game is the fact that us defi- our defining our value as men comes with our ability to uh, acquire and attract and, and, you know, be with women sexually, mm-hmm. intimately, physically, friendly, have them around. It's, it, it, it helps define who we are. So you at 10, yes, maybe mentally you may not have been ready, but you might have been goaded into the concept because it was drilled into your mind. Boy, you better get you a piece when you did it so that when it comes around, you're like, hell yeah, I ain't got to go track it down. It's coming to me. So, I mean, I, and I get it, right? But at the end of the day, manipulation is real, right? So, Were you manipulating? <clears throat> just how, depending on how you look at it, if I'm a child and you're older than- I mean, I wasn't there. You was there. So, right. I'm telling me, were you manipulated? So, again, I, because I was a child, I don't know what the fuck. And, I'm, and again, I probably would have enjoyed it, but I think the conversation is worth having because, again, I feel like a lot of times we are as little boys, right? Like you said, we are introduced mm-hmm. to sex at a young age and then we think it's cool, so we are curious. That don't make, that don't make it okay for somebody that's, I don't know, 17 years old to- take advantage of me because, I, because I'm interested in it. If anything, I would hope a 17 year old would say no because you're way too young and you shouldn't do this, honestly. That's the conversation that I'm trying to have. I feel like, mm. again, because somebody, if you're a 30 year old, 20 year old and a 10 year old is like, yeah, I want to do it and you do it, you fucking nasty. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. just because we saying we were introduced to it and mm-hmm. we want to do it means that we ready to have it. Like, fuck mm-hmm. no, we just had the conversation about our children. Like if I, if I have a, if you're my child and you want to make a decision, I know that you're not even, you're not even there mature. You're not even mature enough to make that mas- decision. So like, yeah, it's still some type of weirdness and disgust in it. I definitely agree with you if it's a 10 year old. I'm saying if you're 13, I don't 14, like the 10. The 10 I never just, said that. 10 is, 10 is 16, 17. Okay. I mean, I tell you, I tell you, my experience was I was, I was. Thank 14. you, because that's what we're trying to get to. I know you want to hear, you want to hear my shit so bad. Hey, All yeah. right, well, it was t- well, I was eleven, and uh, I had a babysitter. Same, sound uh, similar. Yeah, like eighteen, I think she was. <laughs> it's just, just crazy shit, nigga. yo. You just nah. knew, yeah, you probably went out there like, yeah. No, nah, I mean, time you got raped. Smell my finger. Yeah, smell my finger. Yeah. He probably Jesus Christ. Whole time. <laughs> no, no, it was it was more so some let me see shit I, I, as I remember. But that just always oh, that made me you know what I mean some Philly shit. You feel so me? You approached her. It was no, no, way. no. Did you tell your parents? No, nah. I ain't gonna lie to you. So uh, um, on the flip side, right? <laughs> this is weird. This is I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I had, I was older. I was older. I'll never forget this, bro. Man, this is weird. I ain't gonna lie. So, bitch, I, I, do nah, the same shit, I don't want to. No, no, no. It's not a girl, though. I don't want to because I don't want to like make my mom seem bad, but it's fucked up. I feel like our parents didn't do a, a really good job at protecting us, right? And I love my mom. I never said nothing negative about my mom, but this one situation. I remember her, one of her friends was a gay guy. He had asked me, like, could he have sex with me? And I punched this nigga in his mouth. Mm. Swear to God. I was like, oh, probably, man. I was a teenager. <clears throat> I had him like 16 or something. I might have mm. been older, but he asked me this, and I'll never forget. Like, he, I was in his car. He asked me like to do some sexual shit and I hit this nigga in his mouth and I got out the car and I told my moms, my moms asked me, what did I do? And, she, and I told her like, I punched this nigga. I said, no. And she was like, <clears throat> she was like, she was kind of like congrat, like she was kind of like saying, celebrate me for not doing it and protecting myself. But it's like, bro, that's your friend, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean? Like, it was like, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like a pat on my back. You know what I'm saying? So at one point, one side I understand cause like I was protecting myself, but it's like, yo, this should never even be okay. This should never even, he shouldn't even feel the, 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 feel okay to ask me some shit like that, being your son. 
You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it, it makes me think of about. So you wanted her to check him? Hell yeah! How you know she didn't? I mean, I probably don't know, but I'm just I'm just thinking about That's it. That's what I was thinking. I was like, did yeah. they remain friends after the fact? Like you seen or... a nigga again and shit? Was yeah. like, hey, stay in the room away from him? Yeah, I, de- I definitely did. Yeah, at the crib. I seen like they interacted before. Yeah, again. And That's I just tough. feel like I, twi- mm. I feel like you know, like I feel like parents don't protect their children enough sometimes, and it, it could be unintentionally. Because I remember me like getting introduced sex at a young age. Like my experience was different. Like we was making, like my mom was making money off of my room. Like the drug dealers used to rent my room out to have sex with prostitutes, right? And I was like a young little jit, like a little kid for real. But I, I, I think about it now and I'm like, yo, all these interactions with sex are things that I shouldn't even known about created the man that I am today. And like, I ain't no perfect nigga. We all got our flaws. <clears throat> and I'm Absolutely. thinking like, if I wasn't introduced to this at this age, then maybe I wouldn't be okay with this, right? And I feel like a lot of men today, and we had this conversation a lot of times. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of us are, inter, are um, you know, like we're um, subjected to sex or introduced to sex at such a young age that we start to do things as we grow up and we think that they're okay. And now we're looking at Bill Cosby and thinking that it's okay to give a bitch a pill because of just the way we was brought up, mm-hmm. honestly. And I feel like if we can change each other and ourselves, then we can change the world. That's how I was like, you say, like we'll say in today's society as if we don't make the society. You feel me? Like we'll say in today's society as, as we ain't created. Like but the society like is of, how it is because of who you are. But yeah, but a lot of times you gotta understand something. We're, we're a very small percentage of how the world thinks. And I we're feel not like, though. Yeah, because I feel like you a lot of times feel as though we need to, like people like us need to do something about it when the people who are this way aren't nobody like us. All right, well, I, 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 I have to stand with Jay Hill on this that you will be surprised that there, in my life, I've heard so many stories like Jay Hills and like a lot of other people who have dealt, who have been faced with those type of scenarios. And sometimes they didn't have the strength that he had to knock a motherfucker in their face. You know what I'm saying? So like for him to even speak on the story, number one, yo, I, I, I'm sorry that you had to go through that, bro. Yo, and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like no young boy should have had to deal with that. So like, you know what I mean? I just wanted to say that to you. And like, number two, she might've did the wrong thing, but at the end of the day, I think you're right, bro. Like it's it's very important that we we start learning how to draw the lines and understanding what's going on. That's crazy for real. I feel like you know what you were saying. I feel like you know, a lot of it do be us though. It just with, with me, I don't know. me like I I know I ain't perfect and I ain't never trying to be perfect. And nigga, judge me, catch me, with whatever the fuck you want to do. Like and I'm okay with my truth. That's what we talked about earlier, right? Being okay with who you are and your season, no matter what. Mm-hmm. That's always gonna be me. And I feel like it be the people like us because. We be the people that can be standing right next to the pervert or standing right next to the nigga that's thinking fucked up. Because we don't say nothing, it continues to happen. And I feel like if we could do a better job at like challenging ourselves and our friends. Like I remember when I was a kid, we heard all type of crazy stories. Like, yo, if she old enough to cross the street, she old enough to get hit. What the fuck are we talking about? If she got grass in the field, it's time to play ball. Like we say these, I did bro, hear that these are that things, shit as a child. bro. These are things that we heard, bro. That's okay. So oh, that's of course, crazy. That's like, crazy, bro. So it's like, that so it's like yo, these are the things I, that I run construction sites with old niggas every day. Bro, to this day, niggas still say so that. So it's like, so it's like, bro. Like, we we will hear these things and we'll entertain the conversation, but then we'll judge a nigga that got caught when the whole time your niggas doing the same shit. He just didn't get caught. He's saying this shit to you. He's doing this shit. He's it's in the open, but he ain't get caught. He ain't famous enough to, to, to have the shit hit the fan. And now the, his whole life is in his in, 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 on TV. But it's okay for him. But a nigga like R. Kelly, a nigga like Bill, Bill Cosby, like, nah. You know what I'm saying? This one I mean, like, we create this rape culture and then we judge the niggas that's raping bitches. Like, what are we talking about? And and, and that's the that's the real conversation I be trying to have amongst men, because I feel like, yo, how the fuck do we recreate? What the fuck is right? You get what I'm saying? I feel like number one thing is you continuing to stand up for that and then speaking on it. I feel like it's very important that we had this discussion. Like the number two thing is we need to make it, we need to hold each other accountable to make sure that the next generation, like if your daughter come to you or a son come to you and, and get, makes the statement to you like, this is happening to me, take it seriously. Act on it immediately. Don't drag your feet on it, you know? Hey, and outside of that, if your cousin or your niece or your nephew or your friend, or your friend, no, yo. that's a, it's definitely the friend vibe because we know we we got, we all got some niggas that we be looking at like yo, right? Something right with you, and, nigga. You get and, you get a little too excited when you be seeing some shit online and shit. You're like, damn, I'm a bitch fat. No, I agree. But I know for the niggas always saying bitches fat and shit all the goddamn. Or well, nigga that always want try, like I'm trying to go get some pussy. I'm, like, I'm trying. See, I'm trying to get some bitches. Like goddamn, you ain't got no God, bitches. That's why you keep be pressed to get bitches. Just keep going and, and get no like bitches it, all the time. It becomes incumbent upon y'all. Never get no. I'm the one helping you out. Y'all need to unlearn a lot of bad habits of 
making it okay for somebody to be for yo i feel like it's hard for dudes to be vulnerable around other guys yeah so like when guys start talking that i need to get some pussy tonight shit why don't you have a serious conversation yo bro is it's an issue like you aren't able to create real relationships or like what's really the problem? Like, you know, you know, you know what? Know where the pussy I'm gonna keep it on it. You know, you know if what you I think? really have, you'd be surprised nah, the type speak, of conversation that'll happen. I'm gonna speak the truth. I think you know what? I think it's like just people being scared of being human, right? Mm -hmm. I'm must I'm not gonna say people, I'm gonna say me, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like you know, that was me. Like I, every time my friends are like talk about relationships or with their girlfriends or them dibbling, dabbling, I'm like, I'm holding them accountable, right? But then what happens is because we're human, we'll make the same mistake. And now because we made this mistake, we can't, we feel like, who am I to say something to you? Mm. Right? And, and I think that's what happens. But the moment we understand that like, yo, we are human, we are gonna make mistakes, but as long as you're correcting them, right? As long as you're standing on who you are as a person. And that kind of led me to my next question of like, I asked this last time, but I didn't really know how to ask this. Protection of women, right? How do we protect that woman? If you see a woman is in public getting, let's say a man is putting his hands on her, right? And that's none of your business, but he's he's clearly wrong. What do you do? I have to stop him. Yeah, I can't. I can't see nothing. I have no to wrong. stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at that. If I dial some shit like that, I'm just talk to God about it when I get up there. But I can't let nobody get fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, in front and, of me and, and, and I mean, to the point where it's either like, yo, bro, like you gotta chill, or I'm gonna have to call nine one one. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how this gotta go down. Jay Hill straight fighting crime. He's a superhero. Talk oh yeah, yeah. It. I mean, Jay Hill's gonna beat a nigga Jay Hill's ass grabbing first bricks. and then ask he's, questions and make phone calls he's later. Still pulling but, out weapons. You know, after he done knocked them cold out, they lay down. He gonna ask the questions after the, the niggas on cold, out cold. Right, right, right. I mean, and I say that because you know, like honestly, to be real, I've thought about it multiple times, and it's like, yo, you never know what a nigga is capable of, right? Mm -hmm. And you try to jump into a situation that's not yours, even though like I'm gonna do that because that's just. I feel like my motherfucking, um, I got a big uh, conscience, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my conscience is, is, is big, right? So I feel like, I'm gonna do that because I feel like it's the right thing to do. But to be honest, to be honest, I really don't want to do that. Because I don't mean? know, I'm just saying, I don't want to do it. I'm gonna do help. it. No, I don't know what the I fuck. I don't help you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga get it. This nigga fucking around, got a gun now, I'm dead, I'm in heaven. Nigga, I'm trying to help her, now she going back to this nigga the next week. It's like, what the Yo, fuck? Let me say something. Let me, let me, let's be completely honest, right? It is nothing worse I would rather see walking down the street than me witness a nigga beating the shit out of a woman. And I feel like I'm the only one who sees it. Cause now I definitely gotta save this bitch life. Right. Like, I don't even, first of all, I don't know you. And you can say Secondly, I don't even know why he beat your ass. Stuff. You could have tried to stab this nigga five seconds before I walked over here, for real. Secondly, why I got some... Cause if I walk away now, I was like, I feel bad. And then again, shit, what if I see the bitch again? Like, what they go, nigga, didn't they help me with my ass? <laughs> like, damn, like, you want to drink, bitch, my bad. Some that's girls, a, that's, that's, that's some real shit. Yo, some girls don't forget shit. I swear to God. I was, oh my I was, God. I was, I was in middle school. I, I swear to God. I, I took this girl phone real quick. It's, I swear to God, bro. To this day, I, I was in college one day or some shit like that. She's like, that's the boy that took my phone. I'm Jay Hill now. I'm like, yo, that was like, what the fuck? Whoa, you want the phone? I'll get you another one. Like, we your had a big ass forever. Thing. He still stole my phone when I was a kid. But anyway. Yeah, Man, she, would never, she would never let you forget that. Never. Like, she will see you and you'll be a, a star's torn with fucking little baby. Oh my God. Hold up. Let me tell you even a worse one. Let me tell you a worse one. I was you start fucking with a bitch and, she, she, and you ain't know, like, you take out and you ain't know she had, like, another nigga and that nigga was, like, little lucky crazy shit. So, like, you feel me? Some shit, like, nigga pop up on you and shit while you with the bitch. <laughs> yeah, nigga. So, what do you do? And get the wild and hump. Yeah, bitch, what do you do with this nigga? What that's do you do good. then? That's, I mean, that's like. What you gotta do? I ain't never been in that situation. So, you fight? Nah, bro, you get, do your thing. You leave? Yeah. You let the bitch get beat up? Wait, oh, I thought. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said he's popping what? up on me. Like, yeah. oh, no, no, nigga, like, get the beating her ass. Like, you, like, you taking her out and then she get, he get the grabbing her. I ain't gonna lie. I, again, I might have to step in, but it's like, <laughs> I'm like, never talking to this bitch ever again. Like, you, like, just put me in an uncomfortable. Get your shit together. If you're gonna cheat or whatever, do it right. Like, Not even cheating. Like, niggas just got property issues. Move out, you just want so, you to help it. <laughs> Unfortunately, like we don't have a fucking choice. Like a choice. it's hard as shit to be a man. But yo, it's hard as shit to be a man. Speaking of this yo. though, right? I asked that because what the fuck is going on with this little Uzi shit? I feel like it's the same situation. Like this nigga pops up, he pops it's up. Like, it's no, like details on ex. No, 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 no. He, he popped seen, up on his ex. He was creeping on his ex page. She posted some shit. Seeing her and Saint John at a at an event. He thinking they together. They just both got paid to be at the event. This nigga pull up. Same shit start talking about. Sorry, trying to wild out. Tries to swing on St. John. Misses. Nah, I heard that's not true. Oh, for real? He pulled that so thing he connected? out. He pulled nah, that thing he out. He connected? Nah, so apparently, like, I don't know. Jay got the scoop. Nah, I told you. I did my homework, bro. Go ahead. I did my homework, bro. Because when you said that, first of all, I don't know who the fuck St. John is. I don't know mm, who it is. Blogger so, boy. 
No, I, I literally did my homework because I'm like, I ain't want to come in this with no whatever. Anyway, so I ain't know who the fuck St. John was. When you said it to me, you I didn't know who St. John was? No. Side note, fire. Continue. I don't know who the, I still don't know. So when you said it to me, the first thing I said was, what the, what? What the fuck is he talking about? Right? I thought you wanted to know what the situation was. Because you was like, what's the St. John situation? Yeah, I'm like, like, I don't even, I don't even he'll know. click the nigga. link. So anyway, <laughs> so, I, so I clicked on one of the links and apparently her manager was saying that like he didn't swing on this nigga at all. He went up there on some popping off at her. You know what I'm mm. saying? He, 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 he punched her. He put a gun to her chest or some shit like that. And like, it was only some shit straight to her. And I'm like, okay, well, what was the St. John nigga? That's why I asked that. Because it's like, yo, if I'm on a, if I'm with a chick. Shit. That's tabloid shit. Because no, she doesn't have a name. So it wouldn't have meant nothing if it was like, you know, Uzi Vert did it, whatever. And so they put St. John in there because it's the biggest story. But it's like, That's yo, if, 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 I put, if I pull up, right, X or not, first of all, don't this nigga got a girl? Like, niggas got, like, the pussy can't be that good. Like, niggas got to relax. Yo, but you know how niggas be. My ego too big for niggas like, my people. Like I say, yo, niggas yo, got property niggas issues. feel like they own chicks, like they own cars. They be retarded. Property. See, me, I ain't gonna lie. I, maybe I'm just a different type of tigers. I'd rather just try to go fuck with your friend. I mean, I'm just like, I ain't about to pull up and try to fight you. Like, yo. I'm going to try to meet, meet, match your petty. Like, I'm not trying yo, to, like. Let me get something to drink. This is, this I mean, is get your drink, bro. Right? I'm just saying, right? like, yo, I'm just saying, like, niggas, I'm not about to go out that sad to pull up. Boy, this is, a, this is a real episode, bro. I wasn't ready for this shit. Yeah, boy, you on a whole funny. nother level today, boy. Yo, yeah, funny. Woo. At this point, sis. Yeah, yeah. Speaking <laughs> of. <laughs> Yo, she not supposed to be here. <laughs> Y'all fucking up the podcast, man. Y'all hot. Are you trying to pot in peace? Stars like that rum, nigga. You see yeah, how it's piece. Anyway, right listen. Look, man, listen. All I'm saying is, though, I feel like to pop up, to pop up on a chick, put your hands on her, like, like that's and pull the gun out. So yeah, like physical so, abuse. So, so, so y'all really, so y'all really gonna look at me and say I'm wild, but the nigga that pulled up and punched the bitch in the face not wild. Oh, no, that's it. Well, he hit crazy. her in the face. And yes. she's not, and she not even big as the nigga. He punched this bitch. Not, yo, so but because I'm like I'll be petty and try to fuck with a like I would rather a nigga try to fuck with a bitch friend and pull up and punch the bitch. Like that's some wild shit. First of all, we hold you to a higher standard, so stop being all surprised, nigga. Stop. You yeah. know what I mean? You just said niggas, you was going to sit here. Niggas, you niggas and women. Nigga, you out here fighting the world out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? You so, definitely a superhero, Jay. It's yeah, cool. Yo, niggas but like niggas it. been punching their ex bitches and chasing their ex bitches. Right. We heard the legends of Jay Hill, yo. We seen I you. ain't never punched. We I, saw, I saw you punch I heard that you punched a nigga you punch out nigga. for chicks because the dude was talking too aggressive. Like, come on now. So like, y'all got to stop. Yo, y'all got to stop saying this because again, what I say. It's always somebody out there that want to prove a point to show that this nigga ain't who he is. And we tell them don't do that. But I don't want to be in the club by yourself, bro. I do be in the club by myself. Nah, stars be there. No, he don't. Nah, I come like once every month. I don't good. come outside like no, that. Yo. Hey, 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 look, 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 look. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all fuck with Jay Hill, you fuck up with stars, man. It's hey, a problem. Hey, I don't give a fuck about stars or nah, Jay Hill. They'll be the shit. That tone gonna come to both of us. Look, you got a problem with Jay Hill, you know what I'm saying? Have a conversation with him on the side. I'm telling you, the only problem you don't want, if you see me in the club, don't go nowhere near neither one of them niggas, because it's gonna be a serious problem. Yes, sir. Fucking personal security. It's like, it's like, nah, that's why you on a goddamn pod. On a serious note, though. I love violence. Go. Oh, on, a, I like on, that. on a serious note, how weird is it for this nigga to really like pull up on his ex because she was yeah, somebody? Yeah, bitch ass nigga, yo. I mean, so I ain't gonna lie. I saw, I, saw, diamond in his forehead, I saw him on the. Um, no, he ain't got it on his forehead no more. I saw him on the um, live talking to like the, the other city girl or whatever, and just this tone he had and shit. And just, yeah, bitch, nigga. Yeah, he he just you know you know niggas with money just different, man. I've been around this industry so if long, I yo, were, and it's all I'm the sorry. same kind of niggas when they got that. I'm a broke that nigga. Industry nigga. I'm not about to engage into no petty ass little conversation, <laughs> nigga. I'm getting off the live. All right, show you raising your voice. Goodbye, nigga. I ain't with the cornball shit. I got millions. I'm and then he like, and then he like, and then he like, no forget this nigga like five three, yo. You, you know that little man complex is real, man. Yeah, like, the niggas, Napoleon complex. Niggas always want to get aggressive, man. man. They want to. What you mean, bitch? Like they love <laughs> insecurity, nigga. That's insecurity. You can see what Uzi Vert. That's insecurity. Mm. If you got to jump and I'm not in, trying anything. To say that that's a justification. Like, oh, it's cool. No, no. Somebody need to slap this nigga up. He needs to be regulated in some kind of way. Like niggas only do this. Because, and this is why I started a conversation like this. Niggas only do this because they can. The I feel like if more niggas was taken up for these women, you feel me, in these situations, like what happened to niggas? Like niggas do this because bitches don't be having brothers no more. I'm just saying. Like I remember back in the day, at one point, niggas ain't approaching no bitch no weirdo way because they know he's going to get his ass whooped. Nowadays, niggas do it because they know it ain't not going to happen. Now, Rich he, niggas. he is being managed by Rock Nation. Normally, Jay, uh, Jay-Z is the type nigga that'll... On a private level. Man, fuck all that, man. I ain't talking no, about no, losing no, deals. No, I'm no, talking no, about no, really no, getting no, some no, shit no, no, done to you. Normally, in that organization, when niggas start acting out, they make them niggas come, apologize, do a bunch of shit to, to try to, like, 
you know listen what I mean? to what I'm saying. A nigga still gonna do that if he know that all he gonna have to do is apologize. Back in the day, I remember a time right. where niggas ain't coming incorrect because they're gonna get their little ass whipped. Period. That's a These fact. are rich people. This nigga's walking around with fucking diamond, $24 million diamonds, supposedly. So that like, mean he can't get it? It's a one? different, no, he can't. But we outside of Honestly, the generation of big homie and, and, and young niggas. Ain't no niggas yeah. don't want to have big homies no more. You don't want to listen they to never, nobody. They, they, they never did. Everybody feel like they the big homie. Everybody mm. feel like they don't have to listen to nobody. I don't need to listen to you niggas. I'm making more money than you. I got more views than you. Fuck you and all that dumb shit. Nigga, and that's why these niggas so out here running ragged. So basically, you just got to stop making an example out of niggas. Yes. J Hill niggas. That's why I actually what? agree with I'm what you're saying. Stop like, it, that. It is important when you when see niggas getting aggressive. out of pocket. And I'm not saying walk up to dudes and being like, yo, if you don't stop messing with him, I'm going to punch you in the face. But you should be like, yo, my, my approach is, yo, what are you doing, bro? Are you really out here arguing with a young lady, bro? Are you really about to raise your hand to this young lady? Like, are look you serious? Jay. Like, Jay is so, look at you. You got it on. I, he got it going on. He got it going on, man. You see Bucket how hat Jay I, different. Really Bucket awesome. hat Jay different, y'all. He not he fucking around. Looking at a grown ass man, yo, you, you walk into a stranger man, like that. Really about, is this what you doing? That's what you approaching you a young man. So you want? So, so you want to come to another nigga that you don't know? You don't notice that you am like, hey, yo, what the fuck is you doing? What the fuck are you doing, doing this? Nigga, white people right here, other niggas around here. Nigga gonna beat this shit out. You like, nigga, fuck you. He gonna punch you. Let's go. If that's the and if that's the next move, hey, at least I tried to come to you and talk to you. On some like, yo, I'm that's trying to, yeah, that's you know what I'm shit. saying? That's Versus shit. like, yo, bro, nigga, get yo. your hands off of it like before I, nah, nigga, I'm going to try to come to you on some like reason with you. Like, nah, yo, that's, yeah, that's fine. Can we both Man, use I'm our still, hands? I mean, I, but know. that's what, yo, speaking of that, bro, I think, yeah, I feel like, yo, we do this once an episode, bro. He always do this shit like, I'm not going to say do, that. You do kind of do that. You do, you do that, that once an episode. You be right about to jump, and then and you be like, I can't jump. I was going to say, because I feel like I seen somebody having this conversation, right? I feel like, um, I feel like girls don't understand the niggas that be reasonable. Like niggas be reasonable, right? Fact. Like you said, like I feel like, let's say if you out, you know what I'm saying? You with somebody you dealing with or whatever, mm -hmm. your girl or whatever, and like a nigga jump out there and you like, yo, I'm just reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think I heard somebody talk about this on, on a podcast and they're like, yo, like if, 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 if your girl is at work and a nigga got her fucked up and she call you and tell you that nigga got her fucked up, you come down there, what's the first thing you gonna do? She would, wait a minute, the nigga on the job? Did yeah, she the nigga, nigga on the he job, despite that she, your, your girl call you crying. Oh my so God, this different. nigga just, he, he just disrespecting me. What, what did I he do? Come, no, no, no. I need my, context. I need that's context. My that's my girl. I'm, Give me context. So that, what did he do? So no, no, that's let's, my, let's talk about so it. What did he do? That's what I'm saying. So let's that's, that's what I'm saying. Because there's different levels of this shit. No, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like girls don't understand that. Like you won't come. I think my first. Don't use your boyfriend card. Too soon at your job. That's so like, what I'm saying. Me, like, you know what I mean? I might come, come out there. I'm be like, you gonna be mad if you lose your job. I'm be like, so be careful what, what you tell. I'm like, so what's going on? Yeah, what's, what happened? I don't think she's gonna like that. I need to know the details because <laughs> when I approach this nigga, I need to know exactly what the fuck. Going no, I need on. to know what, what I mean. But I, but I, let me tell you something. I preface every relationship I got. I come ten out the gate. So do you want me to go down here and embarrass you and your whole family? Because I'm coming. Acting a that's, monkey that's out what of the I'm gate. saying. Like, if you call so, me and say somebody fuck with you at work, my mindset is okay. You called me. You told me this. You want some action. So I'm going to come with some motherfucking I'm, action, I'm man. Action. <laughs> I'm out this motherfucker. I'm showing the fuck off for you. Feel me? me, bro. And I got the burner on me. I definitely got niggas with me. And I got the burner on me. Like, it's I'm on coming me, jail I don't time know. on my brain, You would bro, never but... call me as your nigga to come with your job unless Facts. it was an issue. Unless you want me to you know home. better. But some, some niggas not like that. But my thing I say, I want to say this again is, it depends on what happened because it's approached to me too, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's why I said, I feel like for men, I, I think we do think like that. Like, all right, so hold up. Hold up real quick. Let me know, like, so what did you say? No, you can't say that. <laughs> women don't want to, the niggas don't want to, women don't nah, want to nah, hear that. But that's got to be a real conversation. I mean, like, 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 so not, what did you do? Not to what you do. Not to what you do. If your bitch call you, I'm sorry. If your bitch, if your woman call you and she like, y'all got an issue with a nigga, da, 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 he came up here, he just pushed me for no, what did you do? So why did he push you? What no, did you do to make him push you? No, that was first. Yo, the way he asked your questions, gonna be... the way you ask questions is crazy. That's the first nigga. thing you saying that the nigga push <laughs> your girl. <laughs> yo, yo, he pushed me. What did you do? Because not because if it's I ain't gonna lie. If it's if it's a legitimate reason, or if it's not, if it's not a legitimate reason, then I'm coming for smoke. Exactly. I'm coming but for smoke. I definitely... But if you did some shit, you got me coming down here looking fucking crazy because of some shit you did. Come on, you did fucking. Wrong. But you still gotta go hard in that bitch though. No, I'm asking like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck happened? Oh my God, he pushed me. I can't believe it. Relax, hold on. I need you to calm down. We might have calm me back in two minutes. Count to 60. Oh, she this going This nigga said, call me oh back in two minutes. Hold up. When so I, I need to know. Your, your girlfriend, he so I need to, I need to know. I need to know what happened. Okay, cool. You ain't do nothing? All right, I got, you, I got you. 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 Let's blood. set it up. Let's set it up. Hello? Jay, oh my God. Oh my God, Jay. What's wrong? Wait, wait, wait. 
wait, wait, wait. Slow down, slow down. This guy just walked by. Wait, wait, wait. This guy what? This guy at my job, he's been talking to me I'm pretty every day. Oh my God. He said, he wait, really wait, he said to, what? He keeps telling me I'm pretty and touching on my shoulders. Fuck that pretty? nigga, girl. I don't know why you, you mean, why is it calling me pretty, Jay? You're not listening to me. Mr. Jay should have never touched you. He just touched me on my butt. And wait, I told what? Him, he touched me on your butt? If your yes. man ain't about to come down here and fuck him up, he ain't shit. Oh, what you doing, Jay? He touched the ass. I'm coming down. Are you asking her what did he do that you want, he wanted to touch your ass? What did you do? <laughs> it don't really matter what touch your ass. If he touch her ass, it don't yeah, matter what the fuck she did. I just said, I just said, I'm like, I'm on my way. You on your way, okay. I literally said that. I said, all right, I'm on my way. Are you coming with hardware or you coming with fisticuffs? Because, I mean, you got a lot of. All right, what if the nigga- I'm coming with hardware any, any, anywhere. What if it's some word shit? What if, what if you like, uh, oh, how you doing? And oh, yeah, I'm fine. He's like, oh man, I'm gonna say, go like, to the take other you side out. of the room. Listen, I'll just take you out. And he'd be like, no, I got more. Fuck you then, bitch. I'm gonna say, go out on the other side of the room. You not coming out of the job for that? <sighs> I probably do. No, I probably do. I ain't gonna lie, cause if you call me- I mean, It's a bitch word. It's a bitch word. It's a bitch word. Find out what time when he get off work and meet him in a parking lot, bro. No, my woman, like, if you call me, then cause like, you can handle yourself. Like, she can handle herself tough. But if you call me. I feel and like you need me to do this. Yeah, so if you call me, more than likely, I'm, I ain't gonna cap. I'm gonna come down there. I'll probably try to talk to you the nigga. You yoke him up a little bit, right? But again, I feel like niggas' egos, like, it, it, I'm not trying to come down nowhere because I know niggas' egos. If I come down there, I'm not really on no top. My first, the first thought in my mind is on go. So I'm not really trying to come down there, period. So I'm trying, me personally, I'm trying to avoid having to come down there because if I know if I come down there, it's smoke. It's crazy time. That's all I'm saying. So again, that's why I'm asking so many questions. It ain't the, to not believe you. It's just, right, right. I'm trying to avoid that. You feel but me? What, right. what did you do ate the first one? That's I'm not, not the first I'm, one. I'm not, I probably don't say that. I probably don't say that. I'm joking. I probably don't say that. I probably be like, so wait, what, what happened? The, what the fuck happened? Now just what happened first, just let her lay it out to you. Then you make a conscious decision on what you're gonna do within 10 seconds. Cause then you seconds. come down there, think about it like this. I come down there like, yo, what's going on with you and my girl? And you go say, what the fuck you doing? What you fuck, fuck you mean? What's going fuck on with you and your girl? Fuck you and your bitch. Oh my God! Now you, <laughs> now you now, fighting. Now, now what happened is you fighting. Now you out front of the horizon. Now, 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 now you fighting, <laughs> now you get knocked out by a nigga. Now your girl never gonna forget it. <laughs> oh, that's real shit though. That's why you can't never make sure, you gotta make sure that shit don't happen. You gotta come. You got to come. Cause you get That's a real out, thing. If you get knocked out in front of your girl, she never going now. Every time you get in an argument, she be like, you ain't say that to that nigga that punched you, you punch in your face. That punch in your face and knock your ass out. Now, now, that's all you feel yeah. like. You got to be careful. You got to pick and that's choose. That's bullshit. Kenny Rise, you got to know when to hold, so know when to fold. if the nigga knock you out, y'all got to break up after that. Yeah. yeah, yeah you probably got to break up. It depends break. if you ever won, though. If you ever won, like if you well, got like three... Yeah. Three three dubs in front of your bitch, and then like you know what I mean. She probably understand. Wait a minute, <laughs> you got three dubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three dubs. Like, nah, she probably she probably three different niggas out. But that fourth one, you know what I mean? They caught you. She probably like, got five yeah. wins and three dubs. But if you, you don't have, there, if right? you don't have five, no wins, five wins and three dubs. No, a dub's a W. I'm sorry. A W's a W. So 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 three W's and then that full fight. She probably understand. Oh, you understand that, bitch? I won three to you. Yeah, but if you ain't never fight in front of your girl at all, right? She call you like, oh my god, that you first fight matters, bro. Why the fuck is you down here? Just make my girl, nigga, knock you out. You. We wake up to your girl catering to you, and now you're, y'all get an mm. argument the next day. She's like, "Boy, you gotta break up, yo." I just woke you the fuck up from a nigga knocking you out. You can't the first protect fight, me. No, the first fight for your bitch, you gotta win or you, you lose your win. bitch. That's a that's a, that's you, what is you can't lose a first fight for your bitch because your bitch gonna be like, you know what, this nigga, I can't, I can't go to <laughs> We both gonna get knocked the fuck out. I, every <laughs> bitch in here watching this right now was like, "Yeah, my nigga can't lose the first fight." You feel me? The, the, you win the first one, like, all right, cool, we got a little spot on. And even if you lose the second one, like, well, shit, I seen him win one, so maybe he could do it again. <laughs> <laughs> she still got a little faith. You still got a little faith. <laughs> you lose like two more, like, all right, this nigga, he had a lucky fight. All right, all right, wait a minute, let me, let me, let, let me stop y'all. Cause if you, yo, your girl gets you in the three fights, First of all, nigga. you should be fighting for your bitch. <laughs> like, you too old for this shit. break up, nigga. She should be getting you into some shit. Like. Okay, facts, if your girl. I got a three fight <laughs> limit in life for my bitch, okay? <laughs> I bitch, you lie. better make some better decisions because I can't be fighting all these niggas. <laughs> yeah, right. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You're I'm problematic, problematic <laughs> bitch. Yeah, 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 I probably, yeah, yeah, you better than me because I don't. That's when you start asking what you do. I don't, and then the fourth fight, you like the fourth, the fourth bro, call. I ain't gonna lie to you. Again? I don't, I don't even got three in me. You better than me. I don't, I, don't, I don't got three fights in me, bro. Through a relationship? No, nah, I don't have three. I'm not, I don't have three. Four know. years, three fights. Nah. Damn. Nah, that's, that's a lot, that's a bro. Fight. Is that Almost a lot of fights? Year, yeah, you gotta understand, bro, because like I'm not trying to fight. So when I fight, that's why I re- all these dumb ass stories about me. that you gotta step in on. They're not dumb and ass you stories. Just legends. No, nigga. it's you dumb ass stories because there. when I gotta fight, I go. I'm not trying to fight. So if I gotta, if I gotta fight three times, that bro, have you ever? I don't think you ever seen me in an altercation. The minute you start seeing me in an altercation, I ain't fight. If you see me in an altercation, you see how I handle it, then you understand why I say three is too many. Because I get into little things a lot.
That's a lot of fucking you're triggers up? and fights and shit. Am I breaking up? Man, love no, is fucking crazy. Who love is crazy. Up? We ain't you breaking, ain't up, breaking, breaking up for shit. Up, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you can be in there swinging Keep fighting, nigga. Hercules, oh, yeah, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> All right, man, yo, bit. speaking of fight, no, man. Um, y'all might not like this podcast, episode six. It's six? We, yeah, yeah, episode zero, zero, six. We about to talk about fighting. I just got a text. It said, this is what it said. Oh, oh shit. This is a, what? Never mind, never mind. No, we put, no, 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 motherfucker. It said, I drove 45 minutes, got there, hit you, let you know I was here, waited 15 minutes with no response. Aye. Y'all might not like this podcast. Y'all might episode not like six. this podcast. We appreciate y'all for tuning six. in. Yo, stars, I am stars. Yo, you know what two mean? R's, Mr. J Hill. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> underscore J Hill. Your boy JS wants to supply. We out of here. We, we got Drake left. Hold on, hold on. We got Drake left. Top to it, bottom to it. All you niggas. Uh, Till next time. Yeah. Blah. Yeah.